Bill Burr, everyone. Hello. Hi, sweetie. I didn't even know. Oh, there you are. There you are. Bill, Bill Burr has hey. uh, joined the the mess that is the Opie and Anthony program today. Studio. Huh? Hello, Bill. I said the 58 people in studio. <laughs> I know. There's at this least, is a party. There's at least 20 or 30. Ever, I've never been in a radio studio with this many people in. It's crazy. When we first started, there was like 100, so it's, it's, it's getting less and less every day. Hopefully by next week it'll just be the crew. Yeah. This is a lot of uh, strange faces around here still. I kind of like this on Fridays, though. All right, Anthony, are we ready? Yep. All right, uh, so here's the bet. Uh, it's Twitchell's. We see how long he can stay quiet before he has to do one of his outbursts. $70 in the pot. Three, two, one, go. He's jumping. He's jumping up and down. Oh, is that fair? Is he allowed to yeah, his taunt face, him like his that? Face Jimmy's around. taunting him. Yeah, he's jumping. His face. Facial Three facial minutes is very possible. His face I, is I smell nuts. money. No. I smell money. I, I, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. What if this cures him? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> no. Something pops in the back of his head. Yeah, Believe all he needed me. was three minutes. All right, yeah. wait, he's struggling. He's struggling. Oh. No, no, he's fine. He's, he's fine. He's, he's, he's not going to tap out. Dude, in a few seconds, you're going to hear a sound new, new, new. that sounds like one of those German chicken videos. <laughs> <laughs> in two minutes. <laughs> How long? <laughs> two minutes and ten seconds, he's going to do it. Here we go. Here we go. No, he's fine, man. He's hanging in there. I'm uh, winning this. No, he's getting close. I smell it. He's getting close. I smell wow. victory. Oh, he's trying. Um, oh, he needs Everybody focus. Calm down. Wow. Oh, my God. He just his, his headphones just flew he's off his not, head. He's not. He's, this guy's an animal. This guy is hanging in there. He's a monster. He's his head like Hulk Hogan. Yeah. That's right, baby. You got it. You can do this, man. All of a sudden, I'm back on Fear Factor again. Hang yeah. in there, dude. Yeah. Don't yeah. quit. These are Rogan's lines from Fear Factor. It is. He's like a bull rider. <laughs> Time. <laughs> oh, God. The German chicken video. <laughs> he lasted, it looks like, a minute, 17 seconds. Wow. Damn it! That's, that's incredible. Danny, uh... Who won the contest? Well, I think that's a, a new record for Twitchell's. So yeah. Are we doing this closest to? Yeah, closest to. Even if it's over? <laughs> yep. Yeah, not Price is Right rules. All right. Closest to is going to be... No. <laughs> it's going to be Ant with 52 seconds. Nice. All right. Anthony nice. won $70. Thank <laughs> you. That rules. Uh, yes, Jimmy? Oh, okay, I thought you had some. Why don't we take a break? Oh, we got Bill Burr in studio, Joe Rogan in studio. Joe's playing uh, the Brigada tonight. Tonight in That's Atlantic crazy. City. If you're in the area, it's a, it, his his stand up is unbelievable. I, I love Joe Rogan's stand up. And uh, all right, we're gonna take a break. When we get back, Twitchells and Big A they do the news for us. Stay there. Welcome back to the Opie and Anthony show. That's one of the greatest songs of all time. Yeah. I'm chewing, chewing, chewing. Apparently, you let a little out. Now you're putting a little. No, back no, no, no. What happened was, you know, we try to eat during the breaks, but uh, Scott Herman's in the hall, so yeah. we're. He's one of our old bosses. Haven't seen him in four years, so you know, he was catching our, up a little bit. He was our first boss. Yeah. Um, when we first came to New York. Yeah, when CBS was Infinity Broadcasting, he was our first boss here. So uh, Tom Chiusano brought him down because he wanted to say hi to us, and uh, it's like we're trying to do a radio show, but then we're catching up out there. And then in the studio, the studio is so big, and there's at least 20 to 25 people in here today. And there's like five or six conversations going on. There's a little conversation over there. <laughs> Twitchell's is having his own conversation with himself. <laughs> Joe Rogan and the Death Squad are talking over there. Yeah. Our security guys are talking amongst themselves. Bill Burr and Anthony are talking. And a little chat. It's, 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 it's crazy today. No one's talking to Big A. Uh, no. <laughs> I it's talked to Big A. Big A and I had a wonderful conversation. You did? Know of course, like yes. Nicholson. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that... Is that Mike on? <laughs> uh, damn it. That's a good line, too. Hello. No, you want to try it again? <laughs> well, it's not. It's always funny the second time. I know, exactly. <laughs> and, of course, Bill Burr, everyone. Uh, all right, you want to do the news? Because we're running out of time here. Yeah. This show is flying by today. We have Twitchells and Big A in studio, and uh, we love when they do the news for us. <laughs> <laughs> and the beauty of this for the new listeners, uh, we learned early on that Big A has a problem with ST words. When did you learn that, Big A? Was it like uh, in, in elementary school or something? Did you speech therapist? Yeah, when did it start? <laughs> yeah, when did this... Actually, I don't really know uh, 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 when it began. No? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you don't know? Like, was it before you can remember? You All through school, you had this? <laughs> the Red Bull's kicking in. <laughs> I know it's a visual, sorry. Yeah, Twitchell's, Twitchell's going is, nuts over you're there. You're losing it today. Uh, yeah. By the way, someone has a question for Twitchell's before the news. It's Jamie in Dallas. Hey, Jamie, what's up? Hey, good morning. Good morning. Hey, I was calling to see, um, does your condition affect your sleeping and... I mean, does it cause you any sleep deprivation or? Very good question. That is that is a good question. Uh, uh, I never really knew. So actually, when I was younger, I actually, uh, my parents uh, helped me set up a camera. <laughs> that sounds really bad. <laughs> in my room to tape my sleeping patterns. <laughs> and I don't, I don't twitch in my sleep, uh, to not to my knowledge. But I did wake up one. Actually, Big Kev can actually testify to this. On the way from Boston, <clears throat> uh, my my uh, my agent Pat was uh, driving Big Kev and me back to, back to Jersey from Boston. <laughs> and I fell asleep in the car, and I actually woke up and did an arm tick, and I hit uh, my, uh, Pat while he was driving the car, and Big A was there. And I didn't realize uh, – Big A, a little uh, – Big Kev, and I didn't realize I did it. So if I do do it in my sleep, I don't realize I'm doing it, but very rarely. Yeah. Well, I'd like confirmation from Big, from big Kev. It, it wasn't an arm sweep. He practically pushed the guy out of the car. He almost killed us. Why would you have him in the front seat? Why would you ever be in the passenger seat? Well, because I don't know. I felt more comfortable in the front. Uh, I don't drive. No, I, I have you to. might be uh, more comfortable in the front, but uh, no one else in the car is comfortable. I offered him the front seat about several times. Wait, have you have you ever oh. <laughs> have you ever driven? You know what? This is funny. I actually have my license, but it's still at the DMV. I never picked it up because in the state of New Jersey, you, there's no law that says people with Tourette syndrome can't have a license. I passed my dri dr driver's test and written test, but I want to wait till I feel more. Uh, Just like drive when you're high. It. Why don't you just get high and drive? Yeah. I, I, I've never tried that before. And I, it's I don't the think best. I, I don't know. Is it really? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, well, I have You're to give it so a try. so calm If it's cautious. Joe Rogan approved, then I'll have to try uh, it. For sure. I'll give it my stamp. But it's actually still at the DMV. I never picked up my license, and I passed. I never picked it up. The only way I'd let him drive in my car is like Billy Bats on his ride upstate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or if it was the choice between him and an Asian woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jamie. Thanks for listening in Dallas there. Let's say hi to John in West Palm Beach. John, what's up? Yeah, what's up, guys? Hey, uh, hey. First time listening to the show, and I, I just wanted to know, like, what what's the deal with you guys and uh, Howard that you you don't seem to like him very much, but it seems like you guys do the same kind of show. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Well, well sir, I'm not saying it's exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's not exactly, but uh, John, we don't have time for that question today. Dallas yeah, of course, you guys suck. Yeah. Uh, oh, now, now that you oh, see how Opie got, uh, Opie got him to get uh, right to the point. Yeah. Yeah. Opie, Opie got all the reasons. Uh, uh, Opie, you got him to get right to the point. How much does this be... piss you off that we're sitting in his seat broadcasting? <laughs> John, take that, fella. They always Whoa. assume you guys are gonna hang up. That's funny. Oh, there he goes. Up. No, the, the, they hang up. We don't hang up. See, the faithful listeners know that we talk about Howard. We'll explain it all. But we, we got something uh, that is happening in studio today that's much more important than talking about Howard. So don't worry. We'll tell all the Where? stories. <laughs> oh, these two. All right. So uh, Big A and Twitchell, they're going to do the news. Uh, this is this is just terrific on so many levels. Are you guys ready? He just downed another Red Bull. Yeah. <laughs> He's got two empty Red Bull cans right there. No, that, was that was my third. That was my third. Third. Dude, he's a trooper. Three. He's a trooper. He knows uh, he's not in here for his comedy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, me go to hell. I'm going to take that. I have Tourette's. I don't take it laying down. <laughs> I like the sprinkler one. The, the, the folks at home are really missing the visuals, though. Yeah, well, yeah. we got the video. We'll, we'll throw some video up on the website. I guess we are, we're not allowed to mention any of our websites when we're over here. No. There's a whole thing going on. Can you Google our names, at least? You Google our names, you'll have fun. All right. I'm putting your videos up on my site. All the videos that yeah, I'm putting them up on my site of you guys. All right, let's get into the news with Big A and Twitcher. All right. It starts with Big A. Come on, Big A. By the way, this takes about an hour. And there's only uh, a page and a half of news stories. <laughs> Let's go, Big A. Good morning, everyone. I'm Big A. And I'm Louis Twitchell Santani. Our tops. Our tops. 
Wat hebt? Voor me. Zoom is als strak met deeply rising of gas prices at the pump, with no sign of. <laughs> with no sign of <laughs> his head's gonna explode um, he is really nervous man he's turning red he's gonna uh, die stabilization uh, <laughs> 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 wow of chief of you might want to do that word again. <laughs> I don't think that really came out right. <laughs> Here, start with uh, Chief of State. Yeah, we're talking about the gas prices. Yeah. Chief of State, <laughs> President Bush, <laughs> has been stomping for his force. That plan to M the rising prices, including increasing fuel efficiency standards, and to stimulate U.S. gas supply. Launch. Critics of the, of the president's <coughs> jump. <laughs> of the president's <laughs> date <laughs> that his plan should decrease. <laughs> his fingers twitching. The take the government receives at the pump. In the form of taxes, in the in the in the oh my god, why st words? Isn't that weird? Somebody beat you with a stereo when you were a kid <laughs> and call you stupid. <laughs> Decrease this. Oh, what what is this? That's so strange. He can't. Take the government. <laughs> oh, this. All I can think of is German chicken movie. Yeah. Oh, this. Come on, big A. Hang in there. It's Phipps. He has proposed. Yes. Wow. Oh. That is one wow. little paragraph. Wiping the sweat off his brow. Oh, yeah, those, that was three sentences. <laughs> wow. That was three sentences that took uh, at least three minutes. Okay. Uh, I must give credit to the writers. No kidding. <laughs> the people that write Nathaniel this Nathaniel and Danny. <laughs> Twitchells. They really have to put Chief of State President Bush in the <laughs> steed of the steps. <laughs> the stead, in, in the stead of steps. Guys. All right, go ahead. Bastards. Uh, Twitchells. <laughs> The controversial movie United 93, which opens today, recounts the September 11th, 2001 terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center and, and the Pentagon, mostly from the well-documented uh, perspectives of air traffic control centers. As there were no survivors, much of this portion of the movie is, by nature, uh, speculative, spe speculative, but, but, but British... Where is it at? From my hand. Okay. No. But British filmmaker Greengrass was nonetheless determined to, uh, to make every aspect of, Jump. Uh, 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 Jump. of his Jump. movie. <laughs> <sighs> Where the hell am I at now? <laughs> Uh, was nonetheless determined to make every aspect of his movie as you are there realistic as possible as he possibly could. <laughs> Greengrass has been involved with realistic recreations of political violence in Northern Ireland. He directed the acclaimed Bloody Sunday and wrote the <laughs> made-for-TV movie. Uh, 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 oh my, um, Ama, I. Uh, O-M-A-G-H. <laughs> and those experience. <laughs> 
And those experiences certainly informed his approach to United 93. That, I feel so wrong. Yeah. <laughs> He's Chop. red. Look how red he is. <laughs> Might as well. Big A. This is supposed to flow like a newscast, by the way. We shouldn't have to... Hey, you ever see the news? Yeah, they that's go a back nice, and forth. nice back and forth thing. <laughs> On the list... <laughs> uh, on the list... Jump. I like how he tries to get momentum to get oh. by the SP word. Right. He goes Sorry, back to the line. <laughs> on the list... Yeah, he's got to start over. Big A, you got to start over. No one heard you out there. Start with on the less. On the, uh, uh, on the less talk side of the news, a new reality television shows covering porn stars attempting to be legitimate actors is... Starting in England later this year, the running, emulating, harlots, fuck, and U.S. porn studios will page. Does this translate? The theatrical, the theatrical, and it's of celebrity. Uh, 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 rated playwrights for a live West End audience. Yes. <sighs> All right, big guy. I have no idea what he talked about. Don't be nervous. You're only talking to about a million people. It's nothing to be nervous about. All right. Tomat. <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell will be named as the newest co-host of The View. <laughs> 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 that really caught me by surprise. I'm sorry. Is this real? Is that real? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's real. That's uh, hilarious. Uh, oh, it's uh, it's going to be great. Rosie O'Donnell and Star going at it every morning. Yeah, they don't They don't really like each other. That's going to rock. <laughs> they don't like each other? Yeah, like, uh, I don't know. Rosie could... O'Donnell's done some pretty nasty humor about her. <laughs> nah, she was... Hasn't she? Yeah, there was the quote in the New York yeah. paper a couple of weeks ago. I yeah, forgot about that. Yeah, something about her stomach stapling and... And how much weight she's lost. And, and the way ha that she has to uh, relieve herself is not pretty. Yeah. If we could find that quote, it would be great today because, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a big deal when it came out a couple weeks ago. All right, con uh, continue there, Twitchells. Uh, sure. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Co-host of The View, replacing the exciting Meredith... <laughs> The uh, exciting, the, the uh, exiting Meredith Vieira. ABC will reportedly make the official announcement. Uh, uh, <laughs> ABC will reportedly make the official announcement. Will be wait, that's written wrong. That's not written me. Wrong. That is written wrong. <laughs> will be made today, Friday, April twenty. <laughs> 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 Now, how come some people, when they have Tourette's, they swear? What's that all about? Uh, an estimated 100,000 Americans have Tourette's. Only 15% have the coparelia, which is the cursing. So Co -co -co I can't even pronounce it right. They're only basically 15% of people have, with Tourette's have it. I'm very fortunate. I only had it when I was little. I, I used to say uh, a-hole. That's all. But I'm fortunate that I shook don't it. do that. I shook it. Yeah. Shook Jumped it. right out of me. <laughs> Wow. Oh, God. You're only halfway done with that story, by the way. Oh, I thought he was... Oh. This newscast only has five stories. Yeah. O'Donnell will replace Vieira, who is leaving to re who is leaving to replace the department, Katie Couric, on NBC's Today. This is definitely written wrong. <laughs> NBC... NBC chose Vieira over several internal candidates, including Weekend Today anchor Campbell Brown, Newswoman Natalie Morales, and Today News. And today, newsreader Ann Curry. Brown and Morales have subbed for Couric on today while she was on vacation. 
at the end of last month. <laughs> He's exhausted. We are fish. How do you live like that? We are starving, eh? Just waiting for you to finish your story. I'm fine. Screw Katie Couric. If they threw this on the news every night, the ratings would be just gigantic. What else? You should do like cartoon voices. That's like a character. I'm actually trying to get the voiceovers. You could do the lines and the sound effects. All right, Big A. Of course. <laughs> he has started this story, by the way. Yeah, by the way. For the new listeners. He's trying. This isn't dead air. He's He has started the next the story. The first word is very difficult. It's very difficult for Big Ed, yes. <laughs> Eyes are closed. He's focusing. His, his finger is twitching. He's his head looks like it's going to explode. You're really nervous, huh? Because you know we're yes, talking to a lot more people, right? And it's really freaking you out, huh? Yes, I am really, really nervous. Yeah, all right. Well, people need their sports out there, so let's go. Bye-bye. Departing into sports news, the... Oh, my God. Um, so the mess. struggle for the Stanley Cup continues. In first round action, the Detroit Red, Red Wings. <laughs> I mean, the Edmund. I mean. Edmonton Oilers best play. Even, even without... Our starting center. Steve Yasmin. The series is is stuck at two games apiece, and the winner will. Tiger on to, to face the Dallas. No. The Dallas <laughs> cars. Oh, he's gonna have an aneurysm! Wow. <laughs> And finally this morning, this past weekend marked a momentous day in the history of the Opie and Anthony show as the pair made their return to the wrestling airway via CBS radio. <sighs> Opie and Anthony were previously fired by the very same company that rehired them to replace the failed David Lee. <laughs> David Lee. <laughs> Might as well. Might as well. Jump. 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 <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> Obi like and Luke Anthony Costello. can be heard from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. on free FM as well as XM and from 9 noon on XM satellite noon. <laughs> On XM Satellite Radio exclusively. I'm Lewis Twitchell Santani. <laughs> and I'm Big A. <laughs> wow, the thumb tapping the belly. <laughs> yeah, isn't that something? Very odd. <laughs> can't stop doing it. <laughs> Trying to get a rhythm so we can get it out. Um, stop. stop. How many guys are roid raging in the car right now, punching the steering wheel? Yeah, come on, <laughs> spit it out. Say it! <laughs> stop. <laughs> Uh, having at me and 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 and
And that's the news. And that's the news, yes. Wow. Isn't that much more entertaining than hearing the news from a dunk booth? That was painful. <sighs> wow. Very good, guys. Twitchell's and Big A, everyone. <sighs> Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> It's like he's jumping and trying to hold in a turd at the same time. <laughs> yeah, thank you, God. Thank you. Jump, 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 jump. God. <laughs> all right, all right, calm down. Wow. <laughs> that pterodactyl all right. again. All right. Get him back into the green room. Oh, holy crap. It's tiring for everybody. All right, Joe Rogan in studio. Bill Burr, we got to take wow. a break. Uh, Joe Rogan's going to be playing Atlantic City tonight. His comedy's unbelievable. Borgata. If you're in the area, go check him out at the Brigada. Brigada. We'll continue with Bill Burr and everyone else in just a bit. It's the Opie and Anthony program. All right, wheelchair friend, you want to try your prank call? Sure. All right, dial the phone. It's right over there. Give me the phone. All right, he, he grabbed the phone, and He's going to try the famous uh, butt plug prank call. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know, oh, you know, God. Pull it off. <laughs> I should hold on to your horses. <laughs> hold on to your horses. <laughs> All right, we all have Fred. He's dialing the phone, And your butt plug. Oh, my God. He's dialing the phone with his tongue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's ringing. Let's see if you can pull this one off. Thank you for calling our Kmart. This is Deb. I can help you. Ah, uh, butt plug. Beg your pardon? Butt plug. I'm sorry, I still didn't hear you. Butt plug. What was it? Butt plug. I'm sorry, I don't understand what department you want. Butt plugs. Automotive? Hello, Spartan Goods. Butt plug. Hello. Butt plug. Yeah, what's that? Butt plug. Hold on, I need, I'm going to transfer to electronics. Electronics? Butt plug. Hello? Butt plug. Excuse me? Butt plug. Butt plug. Butt plug. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you're checking out the Opie and Anthony program. It's the ONA virus spreading across America. Starting to get a little more comfortable in our new surroundings. Uh, we got to say hi to Rob in Boston. Rob, what's up? Hey, guys. What's going on? Hey, man. That was definitely the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh, thank I, you, sir. Uh, as a, thank God you guys are back on the airwaves in Boston. You guys are making everyone else around here wow. quiver. Oh, cool. We're going uh, to do the Twitchell's Big A news thing uh, every Friday for a while, definitely. So tell your friends if they, you know, that that's a great way to, to spread the virus and let them know we're back. Make and sure they listen informed. next Friday. Go, and get informed. Get informed. Do you live in Boston, sir? Yeah, I'm in Boston. Oh, it's a cool city. It's, it's a fun <laughs> city. Thank God you guys are back on it, you know? No, no. Cause I, 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 are you coming yeah, to the big I'm, thing that we're doing up there, May 12th at the Orpheum? Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're going to be up there. We already got tickets. Oh, all right. You can hang up now. <laughs> all right. Let's go to Amanda in New Jersey. Amanda. Hey, ONA. How's it going, guys? What's up, Amanda? Hi, Amanda. Oh, man. That was hysterical. I, If you guys gave him one more Red Bull and kept saying jump one more time, I was saying jump with you guys. And I got to tell you, when you guys were here, uh, uh, WNEW, yeah. you guys used to make my drive home the most hysterical two hours of my life, and I was literally stuck in the car for two hours every day. Uh, very, very traffic good. Traffic again this morning, and the fact that you guys are back, and we're all just lounging out, hysterical laughing. I, I looked to the car next to me. I got laughter over there. You guys are spreading Ooh. like crazy, and we can't wait for those Whip em Out Wednesday stickers to be coming back out. Yeah, Tom Chiasano is going to get those done by next week, it looks like, so... Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And uh, we got to tell the people that haven't listened to us in four years, we got a lot of new twisted things for you guys yeah. to enjoy. <laughs> Plenty of new I can't fun wait to hear stuff. Them all. all right, we're just getting started. Thank you, Amanda. Let's say hi to Joe in Philly. Joe, what's up? What's happening? Hey. I'm back to Philly area. Thanks, Joe. Hey, uh, Jimmy, it's Joe. Oh, Joe. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, Joe. Dude, I'm better now that you're calling, man. What have you been up to? <laughs> uh, suffering for the past four months, listening to uh, Mr. Dave there. Who are you, dude? I don't know. Do Leave I know him you? alone. He has no on, clue. Joe. The Sabra. Oh, from Sabra Cadabra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. what's up, bro? He's, uh, yeah, I know Joe. Oh, of course. 
We'll have to hang out again, touch mules. You know how it is. He's got, yeah, Joe's got a legendarily large. He's he's the uh, Aussie in the. Oh really? He's yeah, the Aussie uh, character in the uh, tribute band. Yeah, he's an animal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to welcome you guys back. It's uh, it's good to hear you again after four years down here in the Philly area. Uh, thanks, buddy. Hey, Ann. Uh, no, sir. Damn it, Joe. Joe. Speaking of Philly, uh, <laughs> tried to get Damn me. It. We got Gil on the line from WYSP. Gil, what's going on? Yeah, the, the pressure's on from my previous lackluster performance. Yeah, your performance earlier earlier this week sucked. I thought it was fantastic. It was awful. YSP getting a lot of uh, attention so far. No, going to make the other markets jealous. The, the other cities have to come to the table. you got to start with gifts. Huh? I said, Norton, are we good? Dude, YSP, look, even without that, I, YSP is obviously my favorite station in the country. You guys supported me. We were off the air, all my gigs, so I love you guys. Thank you very much for that. That was very nice. You're very welcome. Now, how about BCN uh, ponying up and spending some cash? <laughs> <laughs> you are a Those whore. Chislers in Boston. And how about Cleveland? Chislers. Yeah. I'm sure our gifts Using are in the mail. 40s terminology. Bunch yeah. of chislers there, see? Yeah. Meh. Don't be such a pinch penny. <laughs> Did, uh, uh, did Tanya bring up our WOW stickers? Uh, no. I think we got some done already. Are you kidding? No. That's cool. No, she didn't even know where she were, uh, where she was uh, this morning. Yeah, she's a little haggard, I think. She's lovely. Haggard. So, Gil, did you guys send the flowers over or what? Yes, we did. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Compliments of our uh, fearless leader, Peter Kleiner. And the Opie and Anthony show, they got a nice mm. little bouquet and some flowers and balloons. That's adorable. That was uh, for Preston and Steve, right? Congratulating them on their last good book. Yeah, you know, this is the beginning of the end, so we might as well send something over to w wish them well. And it was an obnoxious uh, arrangement, right? Enormous. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, the bigger, the worse. Yeah. You know, the bigger it is, the worse it is. Yeah. They probably just looked at it, too. Well, what is this? Uh, hopefully hope they got that new gig on the uh, Send it away. You well, Gil, thanks for taking the energy out of the show. That's uh, that's always terrific when you're talking to over a million people. Nice, I know. Hey, Norton. It didn't even. Oh my see God! The trick. Right now, his sweaty. He, there's a sweat print on the phone where he was holding it. Uh, see, the trick isn't to just go, "Hey, Norton, click." Yeah. You have you to wait for the response. yeah or the what or a hey Opie or hey Anthony. Right. Then you have to hear one of us go yeah and then click. Oh, he got it all wrong. Sal on Ooh. Long Island. Hey, guys. This is the last phone call because... Huh? This is the last phone call. Hey, man, you guys, it's about time you're doing something. Hey, Anthony, you got to start doing a little, get a little more uh, mad dog, you know? Give me some crazy stuff. You guys are... I hate them. I miss you guys. I listen to Howard every day. But now you're back on at 9 o'clock. I, you go to nine. I didn't see him at nine, but I thought I got you guys. There's no way now. that guy's wearing pants right now. He's in a white beard. A Tourette guy was funny as crap, though, but let me tell you, I know people with Tourette, and they go, Dang, I die! <laughs> this guy's a little bit over. Oh, my God. All right. I love it, man. You guys are terrific. Thank God you're back here. You keep me going. Uh, Rich in Jersey, what's up? <laughs> Given Long Island its name it deserves. Oh, Rich, go ahead. Yeah, that was a great bit. Uh, I haven't heard you in four years. Three quick things that kept me going. Uh, I was in Short Hills Mall the other day doing a delivery, and I remember when you single-handedly shut it down. Uh, yes. The other thing was... The homeless uh, shopping uh, spree. That's our spirit of giving during the holidays. Yeah. We send the homeless to a uh, yeah. mall, to a really uh, classy mall. We still want to send the homeless bowling. Yeah, that was great. Do we? We haven't been able to develop that one yet. Uh, the, the other one was, uh, anytime I see a New Jersey trip, uh, the only thing I can think of is the Voyeur bus. Well, that was another fun time. That I did, oh, yeah. Because I was arrested in that incident, and I never think of it when I see a New Jersey transit bus. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Jimmy did time for this show. He really? took your pinch like a man. All right, you didn't rat. And, uh, the last, and uh, there's nothing like the first time you get wowed. Uh, yeah, the wow stickers are on the way. All right, the yeah. phone calls were great today. Thank you. We'll take more phone calls on uh, Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Rogan in studio playing the Brigada tonight in Atlantic City. Jeez. At least that second guy had energy. Yeah, he had a lot of energy. Uh, from long, he had Long Island energy. By the way, we're gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna bring say something funny when you don't get a laugh. They go, but I love it. I gotta tell you, I love yeah, you hey. guys. <laughs> That's like you're bombing as a comedian, yeah. and it bombs. You just blow onto the next subject. Yeah. Hey, because George Bush, he's an idiot. So this global warming. <laughs> Bill Burr also in studio helping us out. First time in the new joint. What do you think, Bill? 
Uh, yeah, it looks like there was a fire in here. No kidding. <laughs> there was. Yeah. They insisted that we started uh, broadcasting from here immediately. They didn't. It didn't matter to them oh, that right. it wasn't ready for uh, for broadcast. But uh, it's a little echoey because they don't have any acoustic stuff up. But uh, that's coming. That's coming this weekend. The other weekend we're getting the ceiling, and then the yeah. walls will be in at some point next week. All right. Why don't we bring Big A and Twitchells back in? For the uh, Yo Mama finale. Yeah, let's get uh, this over with. Bill Burr, you're, you're playing Philly in the near future, a couple of weeks Electric at least, right? Factory. Yeah, Electric Factory on uh, the 19th of May. It's Greg Giraldo. Greg Giraldo, Great that's show. right. Okay. Comedy Central Live and Mike Birbiglia. So many comics. There's Big A and Twitch. Comics. Hey, uh, there, there really, really, really fast, Joe Rogan, uh, what's going on with the fight with uh, with uh, Wesley Snipes? Uh, he backed out. A lot of feedback on that. I don't know. It was uh, it was his idea, and then apparently somewhere along the line changed his mind. That got a lot of hype. Yeah, well, it, it was exciting. A lot of people was, were going. I was looking forward to it. It was yeah. crazy. Well, you know, uh, it wasn't my idea. It was his idea. He wanted to fight Jean-Claude Van Damme and uh, do some sort of a celebrity fight and, you know, do something to rejuvenate his acting career. And... Uh, um, they said no. They said you're gonna have to fight someone who's more currently popular. Would you be willing to fight Joe Rogan? He uh, said yes, and they they called me, and I said all right, I'll do it. You probably figured out. So I started out training you're like, all immediately, about. like seriously. Like, yeah, I was uh, every day, and then two months in, I was like, what's going on? And then finally, he backed out of it. So I don't what know. What was his excuse? Know. Did he give an excuse? No, I never talked to him. Never spoke to him. I have no problem. You know, people are like, what's your problem with Wizard? I don't have any problem with him. I don't even know this guy. Just a professional just, thing. To me, gonna... it looked like it would be fun. Looks like I think I think I could choke. And what do you think? You think it would have been? I would. Been a... Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. About thirty. They got Wesley. As soon as I get a hold of him. Yeah. He's like movie tough, but I don't know. I'll, I don't know I'll about. Rape, I'll rape him. <laughs> I'll rape him. <laughs> I'll grab a hold of him like a little girl and just hold him down. There's nothing he can do about Have it. Have you guys run into each other in any no. sort of awards thing and maybe no. stare at each other in tuxedos? No, I'll, I'll fight him in an award show. <laughs> <laughs> what award is Wesley Snipes being nominated for? <laughs> Come on, man. Those blades are Best blades bitch are slap. Great. Yeah. The blades third one, because they didn't give him enough stuff to Best do. abs in a B movie. No, I, I was a fan of that, guys. I mean, I still am. I have no problem with him. You just it's not a... Know you could but it was just like... I was just... You know, I, I mean, if it. like, you know, Hulk Hogan wanted to fight I'd be like, oh, no, that guy's big. Yeah. But Wesley Snipes like, I think I can get out of that with very little damage. Let's like, go. yeah, there are people that are tough in the movies. He's yeah. one of them, you know, especially if he brought his uh, sword he with him for Blade or something. The experience but, of fighting like, another person. Movie's tough. If you've never had, if you know, he's never had a fight before. If you've never actually been in a room, there's no way you can handle that pressure the first time. Yeah. yeah. There's no way. There's no way he's going to be able to go ahead. And on top See of that, he's Joe coming at him skills. out of a corner. That would just be like. Plus, oh. he has a lot to lose because he's actually done like those action movies yeah where he the, beats the up hero. 50 guys well it, it also he doesn't know how to fight on the ground that's everything if you don't know how to fight on the ground you're a dead man I always heard that about Wesley I gotta break in because we got 10 minutes left in uh, this part of the show and then we move over to our other studio on XM Satellite Radio we got Big A and Twitch in the studio and we're gonna do the Yo Mama thing yeah, this is, uh, Jesus Christ. You've seen the awfulness of it on MTV. This show honestly sucks. It's horrible. Our show? No, 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 no. Your mama. <laughs> wow, you're a part of it, pal. <laughs> a little better attitude would be in order. Really? <laughs> and you notice they put it in, like, the 1, 2 a.m. time slot. It's a horrible show, your mama. Will Duval Rama bought Chuck Norris's house, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Twitchell's is happy about that. <laughs> or he's pleased as punch. All right, how are we going to do this? Just I let him go at it? How, how, do, how do they do it on the show? They just kind of like... Uh, There's like a referee guy, you're that's all I know. You're representing <laughs> where? Bill, you want a referee? Because you got the wireless. Just get over oh, there okay. and, I don't know, make it look good. <laughs> Twitchell's is representing uh, what neighborhood? What hood? Uh, I'll say uh, Philly, Philly. Philly and uh, Big A, you're no, no, representing. It's got to be like Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Because the Phillies are my team. We got Big A over here. All right, here's yeah, Bill. Yeah, yeah. Where, where, where you? Uh, where you holding it down? In the Bronx. The BX. The, the boogie, BX. The boogie, the boogie yes. down. <laughs> the boogie down Bronx. I wish it was an ST. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Say Staten Island. I don't live there, so. <laughs> He's holding it down. Unfortunately, it's a woman's head to the toilet. All right, what, what's the first He's representing category? representing pedophiles. Is, uh, <laughs> we're going to talk about how stupid your mom's is. Yeah. All right, here we go. It's uh, Big A and Twitchell's facing off, doing the Yo Mama. 
Oh, well, he told he told you. Are these actual <laughs> lines from the show? Yeah, yeah. They might as well be. Yo mama is so... <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so... I bet it ain't fat. Stupid. Oh, it took about two hours to watch 60 Minutes. Oh, no, 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 no you did it! No, you did it! No, you did it! Oh, no. Twitchels? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Your mama's so stupid, when she saw the NT-17, ah, under 17 not admitted sign, she went home and got 16 friends. Oh, yeah! Okay. Oh, yeah. That was so awful. Ooh. I didn't just get a joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that coming. So far, big A's in the lead. Yo, mama. So. <laughs> Rapid fire delivery. <laughs> Those thumbs, the tap in the thumb. Like. <laughs> you stupid. You don't when need your, a DJ. When your dad said it was chilly outside. She ran outside <laughs> with a spoon. That sucked. Oh, good Lord. He stinks, and I don't like him. Uh oh. Yo, yo, hey, you yo, big gang. Yeah. yeah, you need a little gangster. You gotta get the flow going. There you go. Let's go. Am I giving you advice? Yo, yo big gang. Your mom is so stupid. She told everyone that she was illegitimate because she couldn't read. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh no, you didn't. <laughs> oh, oh, it's on. Uh, yo, mama's. Is it point at him? Uh, yo, mama's. So <laughs> the momentum. So yo, mama. That she puts. Oops. Thick. Oh. On her, her head, just to make, just to make up her mind. Oh, 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 oh. 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 <laughs> Yo, big guy, you know that your mom is so stupid, she hears it's chilly outside and she gets a ball. <laughs> I'm doing it so much better and you're not giving me any love. Because you got two chilly jokes in a row. Exactly. I, can I point out that we have the same highlighted stuff? So stupid yep. one. Yeah, ma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your, your mama, so stupid. <laughs> 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 I had to do, dig for her IQ. Oh, dear. Did your parents have any children that live? <laughs> sir, yes, sir. I bet they regret that. <laughs> <laughs> Your mama's so stupid she got locked in a grocery store and starved. Oh, no. Makes sense. You didn't. You crazy. <laughs> What's your name, fat body? What's your name, fat body? Well, answer him. Yo, yo, mama. Stupid. Are you shook up? Are you nervous? Let she try. Let she try to put M and M's in alphabetical order. <laughs> ah, pathetic. Your mama's so stupid, ooh, it took ooh. her two hours to watch 60 Minutes, B.A. Oh, you already uh, did that. Oh, you already did that. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Jump, 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 Hold on. Who made up this list? This, uh, yeah, I think sucks. they're taking off the web. Okay. Yeah. What do you think somebody sat and made no, up? No, 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 no. I mean, who, who printed these up? And oh, and the didn't tours. realize that they were the same ones? Yeah. Which one of our... <laughs> Somebody <laughs> needs to be punished. Oh, and the finger pointing starts. Who is it? Me. What happened? Dan. Yeah. yeah, what happened, Nathaniel? Dan, what happened? Um, find one of the 80 mics. All right. Yeah, one of them that worked. Jog over he's got a jog, <laughs> jog over the there. Console. Look, he's actually running. <laughs> His studio is gigantic. <laughs> what happens, Dan, that never makes a mistake? I just highlighted all the ones that were Cares. fitting of the style, all right, and man. I assume they would, you know, pay attention. Yes, to the ones you, that have been read. You really thought 
that if all of the good ones, good ones, yeah. <laughs> were highlighted, that they could keep track of which ones were said and which ones weren't. Well, just no, because I didn't highlight the same one twice ever. So if you only read the highlighted <laughs> jokes, you're fine. He obviously expects us to understand that. So, yeah, don't you read? Realize that they read with their eyes closed. <laughs> so I just highlighted everything. All right. Well, here's the grand finale. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Oops. get into it. Big A. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, <laughs> big closer. Yo, uh, yo, mama, so s ignorant. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> so Silly. Stupid. <laughs> she can trip over a cordless phone. Well, you could if it was really on the floor and <laughs> yeah. to really get technical, but <laughs> Yo, big guy, your mama's so stupid she thinks a quarterback is a refund. <laughs> hey, Twitchell, your mama so <laughs> Can we have like a freestyle where they actually just make up something about what he was wearing? Yeah. She bought a solar powered flashlight. Yeah. Like, like All right, why don't we end with some freestyle? Uh, Bill Burr, you're right. Yeah, freestyle. Not, yeah, now they got to go off the top of their head. That's right. Let's yo, go. Yo, yo. Just yo. look at each other, figure something out, <laughs> and, and let them have it, yo. All right? <laughs> you your big A. Your mama's so stupid. Uh, you stutter. You <laughs> Oh. Yeah, make fun of something he's wearing. Right. Yeah. Personal. No more mama. Just make fun of each other. <laughs> no twitchels. Take your time. Well, we're waiting. <laughs> you know, twitchels, twitching, you know, freak you are. What? Take, take your time. <laughs> take your Don't time. hit so hard. Hit. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Hit me right was, below the belt. Was that? that was, keep, keep it friendly, Big A. Let's not get too yeah, yeah, That was hurtful. Easy. Hit me right below the belt. At least I can see my belt. Oh, oh, no, you did it. Oh. no, you did He's calling you a fat, stuttering embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, Big A? You can't take that. What do you have to say about that? Obviously nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Bill's feeding him lines. Oh, Bill's giving him a line. <laughs> at least I don't have a retard hat on. <laughs> a retard oh, hat. Oh, okay. a retard hat, yo. He messed up the wording a little bit, but <laughs> well, the meanness was there. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Burr's bummed. He had a good line, and okay, he messed it up. He screwed it up. It was three words. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's wrap this up. we got a minute left in this uh, part of the show. Come on, Come on. you got to go hard here. Look at him. Hit him hard. Let me study him for a second here. Oh, God. I, I, I'm coming up with nothing here. Hey, Twitchell, any day now? No, oh, oh, any day now. Hey, any day now? Oh, oh God. Good one. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You doubled up on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Always say it twice. <laughs> Come on, Big A. Keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. If he's not yeah. going to say anything, just keep hitting him, Big A. Exactly. Just because you dressed like Phil Nicholson. <laughs> Ooh. I'm glad you bombed with that. <laughs> uh, you got, got nothing. Anything, let's go. This is it. This is how we end the battle, the freestyle battle. <laughs> Look at the two of you. This is how we end the first week of radio, of I guess. Material. Ah, yo, Big A, Fred Flintstone called. He wants his head back, Jack. Oh! oh. Come on, Big A, you can't take that. Come on, Big A, one more, one more. We're out of here. You know, you're the only guy. You are the only guy I can. You're the only guy I can stand next to when I can feel normal. Jump, jump, Is that all you can come up with? Is that all you can come up with? I'm serious. Come on, get into this. Get into this. Wow. And got to give it to Twitchells for energy. Yeah, and this is how we end our first week of radio on, <laughs> on uh, the commercial uh, radio stations out there. Well, what do you expect? What do you expect? It's all right. Nothing to work with. We got to get out of here. Uh, the second half of the show is on XM Satellite Radio. Joe Rogan will be joining us in the Death Squad, right? Yeah. Bill Burr will be uh, heading over there, and Big A and Twitchells. Uh, we learned uh, something new about Twitchells, and we're gonna we're gonna exploit that in a little while. And we'll explain uh, what we did to everyone over here on Monday, yeah. okay? See you Monday, man. Thanks for checking us out. It's the Opie and Anthony program. The ONA virus spreading across America. We'll see you Monday. And we're talking to a few uh, miscreant, creepy fans who are kind of lurking out and 
Bill's trying to have a man-to-man conversation with the only guy that pinned to Gracie. It's not going well. All right. Well, you just talk, Jimmy. All right, I guess I'm the only one on, so I'm not too sure what to say. I'm all alone. Orpheum, May 12th, if you happen to be in Boston, that really is all that matters. Or if you happen to live maybe down in uh, Philadelphia or Jersey, you can go see Joe Rogan tonight at the Borgata. Then again, Bill Burr will be appearing somewhere at the Electric Factory. I don't know when. It's in May with Greg Giraldo. Am I the only one talking? No. High Voltage is an XL channel which may include explicit language. Channel blocking is available by calling 1-800-XM-RADIO or XM Canada at 877-438-9677. They just turned it off. Now it's on. Yeah. This is going well. These walkovers are really going to be a hit with the fucking listeners. You know what? I'm well, impressed we'll that it was working for two days. Of course it wouldn't work on the third. No, why would it? Why would it work three days in a row? Bill, do you have... Is that not a classic not ONA fan? Yeah. A guy with... Bill's pointing out an ONA fan who's backing up. He's wearing awful knee-length uh, jean shorts. From 1988. 1988 fat girl shorts with a pair of white socks, awful black shoes, and a Batman t-shirt. And his head, his fucking head and face belong in the hills have eyes. And I have a feeling that I'm not even on the air right now, but I'm just going to talk anyway. You media legs than you, Jimmy. What a bunch of creeps that are walking ahead of us. Interview Bill Burr. Interview Bill Burr. He's right next to you. Bill? Okay, first off. Wait. That's right. Just mind your business. <laughs> A couple of whores looking at us. All right. We're going to cross the street now. Bill, do you have anything you want to say? Yes. You don't realize how hard it is just to talk into a mic while you're walking and be interesting. Yeah, I want to apologize for that Yo Mama idea with Twitchell and Big A. Uh, we should have probably rehearsed it beforehand. I think what we needed to do was actually write them some jokes. I drove up him, here from Philly for that. Thinking it was going to be hilarious. My was it your idea? Oh, yes, I said. It was that terrible. Was Bill Burr's idea, everyone! I, I just apologize for it. Right, but I want to make sure everyone knows it was Bill Burr's idea. We should have rehearsed it. It wasn't a bad idea. In theory, it was okay. Did rehearsal on Tuesday? And if that bit killed, you wouldn't have got the credit. <laughs> we would have been like, ah, somebody came up with this for us. What are we waiting for, a light or something? I'm like fucking Pablo Guzman now, just holding this while people with something to say talk. John Montone. Okay, cool. All right, time to cross the street. Big Kev has my Aussie picture in front of him, and all I think is him tripping and fucking skinning his dumb knees and falling face first out of my Aussie lithograph. Sir, don't touch the Aussie picture. All right, careful, curb. Oh, I got it, I'm okay. Thanks. Talk to that guy, talk to that guy. Sir, how are you? What seems to be the trouble? I need some money. You need some money? All right. Anybody have any money for this gentleman? Well, have him perform for his money. Yeah, what can you do, sir? Right here. Nothing right now. Can you sing us a song? I can't sing. Can't sing? I like your King of the Hill hat. Give him money. Come on, what can you do? <laughs> a little soft shoe. A little soft. Come on, look, look. I got Benjamins. Bad knee. You, you're a bum. What do you expect? Oh, good, yeah. goodbye. Let's, Let's just give him the money and get the hell out of here. That didn't look too healthy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, too bad this is radio, folks. Uh. What's wrong with the leg? Uh, bad salsa. What? Salsa. Uh, bad salsa. <laughs> bad salsa. Joe Rogan, what do you think? I think uh, that that's a Fear Factor stunt, that leg. <laughs> Lick that thing for 50 grand. Oh, Look at it. Say, can we see that again? No. no. Look, look at that. Look at that. Watch when it gets up to the flesh. Look at that. Whoa. Wow. That oh. is rough. Wow. He's got a cadaver leg. That is He's got better. a cadaver leg. Well, enjoy the $2, sir. All right, let's uh, move Maple on. King has better <laughs> legs. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say it twice. <laughs> I, I, we all heard it. Go, Ask this fine uh, young lady where she's going with the suitcase. She's running away from us. Okay. That guy's leg was the physical version of the bit I just pitched. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the bit was that bad, actually, Bill, to be honest with you. It was hard because the news was first and then they just talked. No, what bit stinks is the walking from one studio to the other bit, because we only have one out of three mics working today. Ah, why bother checking on the mics before we do the walkover? That would be, that would be smart. Sorry, you dropped something. 
All right, we're walking into the building to continue the show on XM Satellite Radio. We got Joe Rogan. He'll be in studio in a couple seconds here. Also, the Death Squad, Big A and Twitchells. We learned something about Big, uh, uh, actually, Twitchells. He has a new thing that we got to exploit. We'll get into that in a few minutes here. But uh, the mic's crapping out, so we'll see you upstairs in a sec. Hi, welcome. To the Opie and Anthony show. Fuck yeah! <laughs> That's what I did the other day. You just gotta get it out like, like yeah. Twitchels, man. This is the real shit. Wow. I'll What's tell you one thing. If that walkover doesn't make the whole CBS deal worth it, nothing will. The no, laughs people have on that. It's so bizarre. You go from one studio to another. Yeah. So, it's so strange. It's so unnecessary. <laughs> but the walkover is a, is a great... Why weren't the mics working today? I don't know. We gotta explain that uh, homeless guy's leg. How come they make you guys walk from one studio to the other? What, what is this about? It's, um, a, it's a yeah. It's, it's a, about my dick is bigger than your dick. Oh, uh, okay. It's two companies. Yeah. It's, it's, it's between the the two companies because it's really really silly in the end. And there isn't much trust that we can be here and not be dirty. Like oh. they want they want to make sure they're there and. XM wants us here, yeah. So we don't spend all our time over there. We got to go right to the bathroom <laughs> because on the way over, Twitchell was, was trying to hold a crap in, and we're making him jump on the elevator. He almost lost his bowels oh. on the walk over. Uh, Than, yes. Than, yes. Oh, there you are. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, is Twitchell's in the bathroom? He's currently groaning, and I don't think it's just his Tourette's. <laughs> uh, make him jump. Just start yelling "jump" while he's jump. on the bowl. Jump. <laughs> Can I just shit, please? <laughs> you know how many cops have probably kicked the door in in public restrooms thinking he's blowing somebody? <laughs> ma, ma. All right, you six. <laughs> and you know, you know nine out of ten punk. times. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even put him in a lad bag because he jumps out of it. <laughs> Jump! Jump! What's going on, Than? Uh, he's just slamming his feet down. <laughs> he's just slamming his feet down while his uh, butt is still on the bowl. Oh. Yeah. This is a quality radio program. We have a shitting man with Tourette's syndrome. <laughs> <Tourette's laughs> <shit. laughs> Very clever. <laughs> Must come out look, you know, looking like arthritic fingers. <laughs> <laughs> All bent and gnarly logs. Well, when the log switching. is coming out, he keeps jumping. It's just like teabagging into the water. <laughs> He's letting it steep. If I time this right, he could really hurt himself while wiping. Jump! <laughs> just, ma just you got to say jump a lot of times jump, in a row there. Jump! 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 <laughs> <laughs> he may have hurt himself. <laughs> uh, Don, what's going on? Hey guys, what's up? Hey. <laughs> Hello. That's a great conversation. All right. What happened with the mics? Uh, oh, it's not Wickland. I didn't. We don't know. They weren't working. Uh, okay. Yeah. All this must be pre-tested before we. Absolutely. Who gave studio? you the microphone? Morning, Carly. Steve. Damn him. All right. Well, we'll have to test those out ahead of time for you. Sorry. Hey, wait that. a minute. Where's Steve? Yeah. Where is that? Steve. Steve. No, 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 no. Steve, because Hold I think second, Don. the finger of blame is now Steve. pointed squarely yeah. at Steve. Don Steve, is blaming you. You just got the blame. Here, here, oh, take the shit, Steve doesn't agree with that. <laughs> Hi, Don. Don't get him angry. <laughs> uh, yeah, Don, we did exactly what we did yesterday, which was test them out here and then Grr. bring them over. Grr. Yeah, Grr. Exactly. Yeah, uh, and uh, for some reason, they didn't work. They didn't work? No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> Anthony's kicked in right as we got closer to the building, apparently, which I, I don't really understand. But I they weren't plugged me. in. What's that? They, the really? batteries were no good. Batteries all were right. Oh, well, that, well, let's have nice. Mars check them out. He's and then checking we'll, them out right now. Uh, make it all good for Monday, then. I apologize. I'm not there to test out the mics for you ahead of time. You turn it off and on? Uh, then why did you have to go back to Washington on our big week? Well, yeah. All right. Huh? Lots of, lots of things to finish up here. Like? Like? What's uh, like the... paperwork concerning the show? It's being Could... very evasive. I know. What's one know. bit of paperwork that had to be done? Uh, Opie's expense report from Boston from two weeks ago. That's not that's not important compared to what's going on up here this week. Oh, everything was under control yesterday. Everything was great yesterday. But how come they Mike's can't just give up. you a laptop and let you do it on the laptop? Why do they actually have to put you in a different state to do Opie's uh, expense report? Yeah. 
Oh, I had other stuff to do as well. Like? <laughs> well, apparently there are three more microphones for you now. But if you were up here, <laughs> but I think if you were up here, I think we would have had a nice uh, walkover between the two studios. Yeah. I apologize for coming home. <laughs> oh, <whoops. laughs> Is uh, Twitchell's done crapping? Well, that was frustrating because you know what? Uh, people are really enjoying the walkover, and we and we had a lot of people. We had the Death Squad and Joe Rogan and Bill Burr. We could have a yeah, lot of fun out there. Yeah, we microphones. Wish we had a camera for that guy's leg. That Whoa. guy's leg was heinous. Did no man. one get a photo gangrene of that? Or? That was rotting meat. Yeah, he had some kind of gangrene thing going on. But it smells when he peels it back. Oh, of course it does. Oh. His leg is pretty much dead already. Yeah, that leg is dead on that guy's uh, body. He had a bandage wrapped around it that God knows when it was put on. You know, I'm sure he's not changing the dressing and cleaning the wound every day. No. Just I bet you there's there. bugs in it. Yeah, probably uh, maggots. Roach eggs. All around. Roach eggs. <laughs> All right, let's say hi to uh, Angela in New York. Angela, what's up? Hey, guys, how are you doing? Angela. Um, this morning, I was sitting on my computer, and like every morning, and I listened to you guys, and I got up, and I went to leave my house, and I went to grab my, um, I have, um, my MiFi, and I just bring my MiFi with me, and when I took my MiFi out of the chart, it was still on, and I realized I was listening to Free FM, and I thought I was listening to XM. Ah, uh, see? I have both. I live in New York. And uh, you were just, you were as great as I usually hear you on XM as you were on Free FM. It was a great, I was hysterical, I was laughing, I didn't even realize the difference. Yeah, we're getting there. It's getting more comfortable over there. I think within a week or two, we'll we'll be up to speed. I was telling a lot of people, uh, or trying to online until I abandoned uh, Whackbag for a, a month or so, because I can't go to the website, because I, it's just too much. Uh, and, uh, I told them, hey, hey, Jeff Missy, Jeff hey, Missy, hey, Missy, hey, Missy, hey, Missy. Anthony's I was I speak. I was speaking. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, My Angela. God. Now right. I don't care. Now, now you just ruined what, what the star of the show wants to say. So go ahead, you talk. Go ahead. What, what were you going to say? What? No, oh, because you guys have been so upset with you know your uh, longtime listeners who didn't switch over to XM. <sighs> I'm. So you're going back to Whackbag anytime soon? Or are you actually going to wait the entire month? <laughs> I'm going to wait. Cool. Go ahead. I, have, I pay for three. Uh, I don't know. I haven't been there in a long time. I've checked out like, a few of them. Yeah. Consumer and the other ones, but I haven't yeah, come back to I, I, I'm not even going to bother trying to read. So what were you saying? I'm sorry, Angela. Go ahead. Never mind. Go ahead. I just, I'm going to keep it. Shut up, would you? Descriptions. No one cares. I think you Do what you have to. <laughs> Thank you, Angela. Hello? All right. Thanks, Angela. Angela? Bye, guys. Angela? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you're listening on a MiFi as your car slams into a divider. I'm just really annoyed those mics didn't work. It just yeah, it just threw off our whole freaking rhythm. All right, we got a voicemail though. Some angry um, person from uh, what an XM listener? Oh yeah, well I'm sure there'll be a few. Listen to this, Richard. You're very fucking pissed. You told me you'd mail it out as soon as you got the other one. It is three fucking Saturdays. This weekend will be three fucking Saturdays. Get me my goddamn camera. You understand me, motherfucker? I will drive down there and whoop your fucking ass. Oh, see, I wait. wait no, I was that's... assuming it was someone that was pissed off at what we did, mm -hmm. uh, but it's uh, no, it's some guy that's what's what's this, Steve? Customer Angry's service. Customer service call. Oh, customer, customer service call. Service call that someone mailed in overnight. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my God, I'm ready to hit somebody. <laughs> <laughs> what's the matter? And I got back up with Joe Rogan and the Death Squad. Oh, E Rock. Why? Oh. E Rock, stop looking around. E Rock. Oh How no. How about this? Every oh, time no. you hand someone a wireless mic, put put your headphones on so you can see if it works or not. Radio 101. Well, I can't do it if they don't turn it on in there. Ah, yeah. oh, the room. Oh, oh shit. The, How room. Do you know the room. Hold on. You can't blame the room. If you had the headphones on, you would know right away that as Steve's talking, no one could hear him. I handed in the microphone. I was waiting for them to turn it on. No one was looking. So it's my Oh, just, just keep your headphones e on. Steve? Yeah, nothing. Something? You're, you're no, on. I can't okay. hear you. It's an angry customer service. No, 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 no,
I didn't realize he had his headphones on. I, I did. I spilled out with the awful joke. <laughs> Stupid I am. At least you didn't see him. I looked right well, at him. I, I turned around to laugh at Anthony, and I assumed that as I turned back that he still had no headphones on, and that gag <laughs> would work. I turned back around. I'm trying to, like, bust on him, and he has his headphones on. Uh, so, Eric, uh, you got yelled at for nothing. Are you kidding? Are you upset? No. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, no, I know what Jimmy's getting There at. was a little tension there. Because Eric got like a little help, but Eric's like, well, it would be if they would turn it on, and I, I don't know if that was necessary. Well, that is correct, Ooh. but it, he would also realize that the, the wireless wasn't working anymore if he had his headphones I on. I think... All. Iraq, I'm sorry. Iraq is very sensitive, as, we, as we've seen in past uh, shows. I think he might have to go into his box of, of tender sentiments. Jimmy, you want to explain this? Because you, uh, I think you wrote these up for him, right? Well, yeah. I mean, uh, I... Uh, when I'm sad, I reach into my box of tender sentiments because it... <laughs> it Why don't you give us an example of one? But I'm not sad. I know you're I not. I know, but, but it's an example for the new even, listeners. This will put you in an even better mood yeah. than you're in, if that's at all possible. I'm sure the Death Squad's going to enjoy this. <laughs> Taking it up. I would like, as a matter of fact, the only fighter to ever pin a Gracie to pick out my tender sentiment Ooh. for me. Well, you didn't pin him. He tapped him. He tapped him. Whatever yeah. he did, he still won. Would well, you pick this out for me and hand it to me? Eddie Bravo to the mic. How about you have him do it? Well, Maybe Eddie Bravo could read. This is a tender sentiment. Yeah, this is a, a professional killer, basically. Let your heart guide you. <laughs> Let your heart guide you. That is indeed a tender sentiment. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> All right, so and Jimmy's got a whole box of those. When he feels a little bad, he shakes them up, pulls one out, and all of a sudden he's in a great mood. It just and, uh, picks you up. Yeah. And Iraq just had a little moment, I think. that might have been a little tense or something. Uh, Iraq's got his own box. Why don't you shake it up and pull one out and feel a, a little better about yourself? Sounds like there's a tender sentiment in there. Oh, we got to write some new ones. Here he goes. He's taking it out. And Iraq, just like Jimmy's, listen. What does it say? My name is Eric, and I hate blacks and Jews. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, whatever makes you feel better. That's what picks you up out of your doldrums. <laughs> I got a All new right. sound clip for my board. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an angry uh, customer service call to, uh, I guess, a camera store. Richard is very fucking pissed. You told me you'd mail it out as soon as you got the other one. It is three fucking Saturdays. This weekend will be three fucking Saturdays. Get me my goddamn camera. Do you understand me, motherfucker? I will drive down there and whoop your fucking ass. You have ripped me off. You stole money from me. I do not let people steal money from me, motherfucker. You get me my goddamn camera here, or I'm going to get you. Well, I bet that worked well. But they just went right to shipping and said, hey, yeah. get that fella's camera out. <laughs> this guy's a good customer. <laughs> He's a good customer. Plus, the second you start cursing, then they can just hang up. Sir, you can't use that language. Yeah, then they're allowed to hang up. All right, Bill Burns Studio. James in Kentucky wants to comment about the Yo Mama bit at the end of the yeah. uh, uh -huh. first half of the show. James, what's up? What's up, Opie? What's up, Anthony? Sorry, a little nervous. First time on ONA. Had the XM for about four months, so... Anyway, uh, what inspired you to buy it? Now that you're giving out information that nobody gives a shit about. Uh, yeah, I kind of figured that. Um, I was smoking pot and decided I needed a little bit more activities. That's why. What? What? Did I miss something? <laughs> Probably. Anyway. <laughs> Hello. No, yes. We're, we're, yes. We're riveted. Oh my god. <laughs> Do coming. the mics work today? Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, the phone works, too. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured. I'm anyway, counting the uh, clicks the as people are clicking off their units. The screeching I'm hearing. Well. James. Yes. You're representing the state of Kentucky. No, not actually. I don't represent that state. Do you realize the more you talk, as you speak, serious stock is going up? <laughs> <laughs> that says a lot for Howard, huh? Uh, anyway, uh, Twitchels. You pulled By the way, the you know, when you're, when you're telling right these little in. stories, here's a good idea. <laughs> Have a point. It makes it so much more interesting for the listener. You stupid, ignorant son of a bitch, dumb bastard! Jesus Christ, I met some dumb bastards in my time, but you outdo them all. He bailed. 
He did. He bailed on his own. He bailed. He was going to say that he liked the Yo Mama bit, by the oh, way. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was sitting there, it. like, cringing. Like, at least his call's going to be worse than that bit. Uh, let's go to South Carolina. <laughs> South Carolina, what's going on today? Hey, sirs. How y'all doing? Pretty good. Hey, uh, I just want to let you know I'm finally getting this whole move to uh, Free FM because I was pretty pissed when y'all first uh, put out the comments y'all was going to go over there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it makes sense. You asked us to trust you, and I have, and then it ends up it's, it's a pretty good thing, you know. At least I know now how good it is to have XM, you know, from uh, how censored it is when y'all are on uh, there for the first three hours of the morning. All right, thank yeah. you. That's a backhanded right. compliment. Wow, yeah, we're done with uh, the phone calls. We got uh, Pat, Twitchell's agent, on the phone. Uh, can we get Twitchell's in here? Where is he? Still shitting? Uh, he's uh, over here. We'll get back into a groove again in a second here. Hi, Twitchells. How was the crap? <coughs> it was great, thanks. <coughs> the stomach just feels really queasy still. Yeah, <laughs> all that Red Bull probably. Uh, four. <laughs> four Red Bulls you're up four, to? It's four, well, it's what I'm done with. <laughs> Total four. Yeah, I think that's my record. Out. The first time I, I did it on here, it was I think I only did two, and that psyched me. This is just I feel really sick. Oh. <laughs> feel sick, sick, huh? Came out like a slim fast shake. <laughs> hey, uh, you know your agent. <laughs> <laughs> you know your agent, Pat, right? Uh, marketing agent, yeah, yeah. Marketing agent. Pat. Yeah, he doesn't have solid logs. You're right. There's yeah. no way you could have solid logs with all that uh, moving around and jumping and stuff. And the Red Bull. And the Red talk, Bull and keep, all that. I keep forgetting that I can curse now. You talking about, talk about my shit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Moving around and jumping makes your shit loose? <laughs> uh, you got to think it's like breaking it up oh, in there. Breaking oh, yeah. it up in there. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Oh. I figured uh, you got to... Uh, Opie has a mic in front of him, so that means uh, everything he says is the truth. Yeah. He's an expert. Expert. Oh, of course. Are your logs soupy? Very soupy. <laughs> they're not really logs and they're soupy, right? No, it's just no. a nervous That's evacuation. That's actually a good point. <laughs> All right, uh, Twitchells. Uh, Pat's on the line. Pat? Hey, guys. How are you? Good. <laughs> were, were you listening to Twitchells earlier? Yeah, absolutely. He did a fantastic job for us today. <laughs> He's amazing. Yo, what's up, man? <laughs> well, I figured I just wanted to give Lou a little present since uh, the ride up from Boston back and forth to your remote was like a death trap for me. <laughs> I figured I'd uh, give you a little tidbit on one of the <laughs> So whenever Lewis has a bunch of Almond Joys in front of him, he has to eat every single one of them until he pukes. Are you kidding? Nope. This came from when he was a kid. He broke into the closet, ate a bunch of them, got sick, and he's absolutely obsessed with them. Do you like really? Almond Joys? <laughs> you motherfucker. Nice. Are you kidding? Is that true? You promised you wouldn't say anything. If you... Yeah, well, you also promised you wouldn't kill us from the ride home from Boston. So. <laughs> I didn't kill us, did I? I didn't, did I? Came pretty close. Why would you have him in the that passenger fuck. seat? That I really do. wanted to put him in the trunk, but he wasn't going for that. Right. Do you like Almond Joys, Lou? Uh, yes, I, I like them. Who doesn't like Almond Joys? Uh, no one likes Almond. No one's eaten <laughs> one since 1978. <laughs> they're good. They're good food. That's they're, why they make mouths. They're good food. Yeah. Bring in the bucket. <laughs> oh, no. No one has eaten Almond Joys in 20 years. Hey, who wants years? an Almond Joy? <laughs> oh, look at the Almond How many joys. do you think it'll take to get him to throw up? <laughs> well, we got There's bags uh, of them. We got Two bags, bags and bags wow, and ba three bags. Jimmy, I, I know you would Four enjoy bags. a nice Almond Joy. I'll, I'll Bill, like, here you go. Let me have two, Ope. I uh, enjoy it. Anthony, and I'll, I'll have one of those, Ope. Joe. Yes. Thank you. Pass them out to the Death Squad. There you go. Almond Joys for the boys. Almond Joys for everybody. Almond nice. Joys for the like, camera dude. Delicious. Twitch, would you like one? N no, I don't want one. They're quite good. Oh, I haven't had God. Almond Joy in years. Just oh, have one. Is he still on the line? Uh, delicious. Yes, yes. Coconut. Pat is on the line. It, it, mm. As soon as he has one, it's all over. Just the have time. one. I don't want one. Two, three hundred without even blinking. I don't just want have one. one. Yeah, just try yeah, you want like oh fifty of them. Oh you gotta god. eat this, bro. It's oh good. my god. I don't want one. I don't want one. Dude, it's good. It's really good. Dude, eat it. Come on. Oh my Twitch, god. Oh god. Coconut. Open it for it. Open it. I trusted you. You fat fucking bastard. Put it in his mouth. Oh, oh, wow. Put it in his mouth. No. Put it in his mouth. Oh, my God. Oh, come on, dude. Eat it. Open your mouth. Eat it. 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 Open your mouth. Delicious. Shove it in there, dude. Oh, it's 
It's on now. Uh, How good is that? It's on now. He just grabs that like a bird grabs a Come worm. Come on, man. man. That's like heroin. Is it more over here? Come on over here, bro. Oh, as as you enjoy look, at me, look, he's getting the sweats. Are you enjoying it? How good does that taste? How good does that taste? Is this really good? There's plenty. Oh, wow. Joe Rogan wants you to have one. Hey, Joe, can please. I have another Almond Joy, please? Sure. Those are delicious. Sure. They are good, aren't they? There These you things go. melt you know in what it is, Jim? It's something about there that coconut. Oh, the coconut, God. the nuts. Yeah, just don't want it. No, don't don't throw it out. Dude, look oh, at this. Oh, this oh. is delicious. Oh, my God. They're so good. Oh, How many has one of them already? The trash. He so, tried to fight it off. He threw one in the trash. Threw one like, away and then and then ate another one. E-Rock, why don't you start counting how many of these little little <laughs> Almond Joys uh, oh, he eats? You can have one more. Jesus, yeah, Almond Joy. I got to tell you. Yeah, just yeah. one more. They're quite delicious. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I mean, they got Joy right in the name. Right, I mean, Dan, you want to count? Uh, right. Sure. Danny's going to count. How many up to there? Three, four? Broken into that closet when you were young, huh? By the way, uh, Pat's still on the line if you want to... That really clock. is an awful it, it, name, it isn't it? It would be a great bet to see how many Twitchels can eat before he <laughs> actually vomits. What do you think? How, how, many think you, how many do you think he can eat? All men have uh, I think he can do at least it on the rack. Sense. 200? 200? 200? No. How many these, are, these are the bite-sized ones. How many is he up to? You can't eat 200 <laughs> of anything. These are fun-sized. <laughs> okay, how many are you up to, Twitchels? Exactly. Twitchels have M&Ms. Four or five? All right, let's get the money up. How many? I think he can eat 40. 40? 40. That's nothing. No right, way. Nothing. He's going to eat more than 40. He's Danny, eat. you throw me another one of these delicious treats. These I don't are, think so. Yeah. What's better I than an Almond Joy? I don't I think, think any. Like, <coughs> uh, Did he in the groove yet? Did he start pounding him down? No, yeah. he, he doesn't really no, care. He's, he'll eat a few and he'll be done. It's very interesting. He's, he's like slowly... You know, getting up to speed, I guess. I'm trying to He's explain it. He's slowly giving into his addiction. Yeah, that, thank you, Bill. That's exactly mm. it. Uh, I can't they're lined see up any on. more than 15. Mm. I've had four Red Bulls. I've had a cup of coffee. I've had a lot of water. Uh, oh. I just took a big shit. I, I don't want any more. Mm. I really... <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I don't want more. Are you gonna stop eating them then? They're on the table. They're, they're there. right there. They're, they're gonna them. waste they're away there if you want them. That looks you know? delicious, man. Oh that my was god. Hilarious. You should she get them nice before the. Voice, just giving us a recap. Oh. Oh. Okay. And there's another. Just push the mic away. Yeah, quickly <laughs> grab them. <laughs> like a frantic grab. It's like the way I feed my dog roast beef. The way he snatches it out of my hand. <laughs> That's is, what uh, it was like. The hat is off, people. The yeah, hat has yeah. come off. Just, just no. Have moderation. Just say no to yourself. You don't have to eat all those delicious almond joys. Are you a fan of the mounds? Mmm, yummy. yummy. I prefer yummy. the almond really joy. joy. Mounds are okay, but yeah. almond, almond joys, joy, yeah. Yeah, that's mm. delicious. That almond joy. That's like Milky Way. Who the hell, you know? Twitchels, what do you think? You can yeah. control this, right? Yep. I think this is really embarrassing. Why? Because <laughs> this is like the one thing nobody knew, and now Dude, you just took a shit on the air. <laughs> I just <laughs> you're embarrassed eating candy. What? What? <laughs> so what? You got a sweet tooth. Just enjoy the almond. Yeah. Flavors. What's embarrassing the about this? Delicious. I used to be 300 pounds, Obi. I told you this. Yeah. Oh no, this is an obsession. Oh no. Wow, Was it because of almond joys that got you that big? Just tell yourself no. All right. Yeah. Just say no. You've only eaten what six or seven. So can I leave? No. Is no. no. that right there? You can leave if you can get past the death squad. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Guys, he usually throws up saying? after he eats them, so he's certainly not going to gain any weight. It's oh, he's still on the line? Yeah, he's yeah, still yeah. here. How many uh, Two, does he eat before he four, ralphs? Hey, Dan, eight, how about tossing me one of those delicious almond joys? He'll definitely do so. Wait, bags. Jimmy's eating more than... than <laughs> these are <laughs> addicting. <laughs> They're yeah. very tasty. I know. <laughs> I've had four you. myself. Did you? It's amazing. Yeah, I'm like feeling good. What is you like about the almond joys so much? They just make me feel like everything's okay. It's just, it, I don't know why, but I have to eat them all. I can't leave any of these delicious treats. They're nice. They're yeah. delicious. I cannot leave them uneaten. Yeah. Two at a mm. time. Come on, Twitch. You chew the, the um, coconut. Danny. Danny, how many has he eaten? Mm. Mm. Oh, he's Gary. licking it. He's mm. licking it. He's lick trying it and not smell to it. eat it. You lick it and smell it. Mm. Like Gary Coleman nipples. How many has he eaten? Mm. He's had, that was seven right there. Seven. Mm. But they're, they're starting to... He's starting to grab at him a little, a little faster. That's eight. That's eight. I just popped two, two at a time. How can you not? Mm, yum. <clears throat> All right. They're going to get wasted and thrown away. Oh, yeah. Feel it, man. Feel it take you over. <laughs> Feel it take you over. You can, you Bill's can, a hypnotist. I think he can control this one. You can, you can control this one, right? His eyes are rolling into the back of his head. <laughs> you can control this, right? Heroin high. Sugar I rush. I thought you liked me. There's 20. I thought you liked me. We're There's, giving you candy. There's 20 unwrapped in front of him. <laughs> At least. Yeah. You're still with people you like.
Holy oh, shit. he's got three at a time. Oh, oh, oh he's gone oh, now. Oh, he's gone. No. Now. He's gone now. He's <laughs> throwing three in his mouth at a time. That's no, when you do that. He looks like a chipmunk. Yeah. This is nothing for Rogan, though. He's seen people eat and puke and... I hope I don't have to see that anymore. I <laughs> hope that Red show's Wolf. done. Yeah, right? <laughs> enough of the already. puking. The problem is I'll keep doing it. If they keep offering me money, I'll show up. Yeah. I'll keep doing hey, it. Hey, what is this? Hey, table table like for that show. There's no table read. There's no rehearsal <laughs> whatsoever. This is, the, this is the table read is me and my trailer getting high as giraffe pussy. That's the, ta the table read. <laughs> and then they just bring in the helicopters and yeah. the and then people uh, you and know. you just stand out there sometimes I'm so high that uh, I don't even like I, I can't even read the script <laughs> like they give me like a script of like what the stunt is <laughs> and sometimes I'm so high I start tripping out on words like I just go how weird is it we all agree these little symbols mean a certain thing <laughs> you know, like, I go man think about it man isn't like communication kind of like a form of telepathy and I, I'm making noises with my mouth and you're reading my fucking mind <laughs> I just, <laughs> and that's fucked up that's the kind of shit I start thinking and then I, you know, sometimes I'm in the middle of this whole thing, and the helicopters are flying overhead, and I'm, and I'm looking at, and I'm just like, I can't even fucking believe this is a job. This is so bizarre. So much more fun when I'm high. Oh, oh man. Are you feeling the paper? I wonder what kind of tree yeah. this was. This used to be is this a from the rainforest. Tree? Who was the first guy that figured out how to make paper out of a fucking tree? <laughs> Who was the first guy to eat a lobster? <laughs> I did the lobster thing once. Yeah. So that the was food. the first. That was a brave soul. Oh, man. Uh, Twitchells, how many uh, Almond Joys are you up to? I don't know. They're good. Well, Danny knows. Danny? They're really good. He's, uh, he's, he's chewing 12 right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, he freaked me out with that whole symbols and telepathy through just making... The sound. It is. It is. I mean, wow, if I was high. That making would noises me out with your mouth. Hours. You're making He's little mouth noise. noises. You might as well just be going. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you and that reach, means something. You reach into your culturally sanctioned dictionary and you go, okay, I know what he's saying. Okay, I know yeah. what you're thinking. Let's go to Reno. Your mind. Uh, he's in hey. Mississippi, actually. What's up, Reno? Hey, oh. hey boys. Uh, just <laughs> welcome back. Uh, I, I kind of dig the, uh, the free FM thing. Yeah. And uh yeah, I just want to say hi to Caddy Daddy and uh hi. Joe and Bill. Hey. And I was going to I was actually going to give props to Joe and I mean this is not a shot by no means whatsoever, but news radio still love it. I was, was still uh running on syndication. I wish I could find it somewhere. Thanks man. It was but a fun I, show to do. You guys did a great job and um uh, uh some great comics, man. Yeah, you guys rock. Thank you, man. And I'm kissing a little last. This yes, morning. that's all right. That's right. Mm, uh. All right, thank you. <laughs> Coaches, how you doing over there? I'm doing great. How do they taste? They taste delicious. Why are you compelled to just keep <clears throat> eating them? Yeah, He's fondling you, it. I don't even want to get in the story now. I'm, just, I'm really distraught. <laughs> Why are you distraught? <laughs> When I was about 10, my mom bought a bunch of these around Halloween time, and she wouldn't let me have any of them. And I told her that all I wanted was a few, and she fucking said no, and I got mad. So, They have to eat all of them. Show mother. Shame her. <laughs> shame her? You know, it's like, I'm so, I, it's like, God fucked me with Tourette's. He fucked me with OCD. I'm not bitter. Well, come on. God fucked me. I'm not bitter. <laughs> we need that on a t-shirt. God fucked me, but I'm not bitter. I'm not That's bitter. another thing you have to throw my way. God, we could sell a lot of those t-shirts. How do you go into a store where those things are? Because like, he hasn't had one when he's in the store. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I've had plenty before, but you know, I don't have a whole enforcement of them in front of me at each time. Mm, yeah, there's bags and bags. You don't have them. to eat all of them. Just leave some. Leave some uneaten and untouched. So it was the day before Halloween, and I found out where she hid them. And I got them out of the cabinet, and I started eating them all. Now it's like part of my OCD thing. I try to avoid them, but they're just good. And it's like... <laughs> It's like sometimes it calms me down. My like ticks kind of like slow down a little bit, and it's like it's almost like a like a, a sick way of healing. And oh, oh, man, I, could, I sure you're making me want to eat. Wow, you got a whole handful it. now. Just it's bury, bringing back memories. I guess. bury the shame. Bringing back memories. How how good it felt back then. Opening that bag Opening and finding that it. bag and going. Oh wow. You'll show her. 
Yeah, she can't hide it from you. I not one. I wanted, I wanted just one. That's all you wanted. That's all I wanted. Just she said no one. to me. That's that's fucking no. bitch. <laughs> no, I love my mom. Fucking bitch. I love my mom, but Whatever, what a whore. Dude. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't she let you have one? It was Halloween time. What'd she think? Yeah. She wanted to save them for the uh, trick-or-treaters. For other people. Trick, like she cares yeah. about them. them more than you? Uh, yeah, 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 right. Apparently. She loved the trick-or-treaters a little more than you. Exactly. What the fuck? Hey, Joe, can I, can I have one of, of, one of, one of, one of Mother's uh, Hidden Treasures? Have one of these. Oh, thank God. Mother's Hidden They're delicious. Oh, God. I'm gonna have one more, too. I'm in choice. I don't. I, I, I don't even want any more, but I, I want more. It's yeah, kind of nutritious too. I mean, it's got a nut. Nuts are high in protein. <laughs> a coconut in there. That's a. That's a like a plant or something. Oh, a little chocolate. <laughs> Just hold it to your nose and smell it. As far as candy goes, it's probably good. the best for you. All right. Oh, the it's coconut. Got coconut. Yeah. You ever actually touch it to your nose? You touch the skin, Almond, like the nose and coconut. upper lip skin. Hey, uh, chip, no. Danny, how many has he eaten? Uh, 16. <laughs> and he's got 17. Well, oh, there's 17, and 18 is actually in his hand as well. God damn, these are good. Yeah, they're really good. Jimmy, how many have you eaten? 36. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy's getting right up on them. Jimmy's getting, Jimmy. Jimmy's getting this pulled right part of this. the fat smash diet, you know. Yes, it is. Yeah, when are you starting the, the fat smash diet? I started today. <laughs> hey, this, is like, this, I'm, this is like a little oh, fucking a, a little asterisk, but <laughs> I had a few almond joys. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> I looked at Rogan eating one. I'm like, well, Joe's having one. Like, you know, two men with the same workout regimen are going to eat some almond joys. <laughs> 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 two men treating themselves because they've been working out so yeah, hard. Exactly. Yeah, Preparing for fights, you know. You know Joe and I just treat ourselves to some candy. Just a little bit. So is your sponsor going to call? Hmm? Is your sponsor gonna call? You got like an AA? I don't have a sponsor. Fuck him. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> hey, uh, Pat. Yummy, yeah. yummy, yummy, yummy. Uh, we want to thank you for uh, letting us know about this. Oh, don't do that. Oh, it's absolutely my pleasure. Yeah. Thanks, Pat. Anything else you know about him? Let us know on a future show. Oh, yeah, I'll be checking in with other little OCD tidbits on my man there. Good <laughs> right. morning. You got any references? New Asians? And if they're unwrapped, he'll probably eat more. Yeah. Why? They're unwrapped. Because oh. they're right in front of him, and he knows they'll be wasted. Yeah, they're okay. all unwrapped. He can't stand to think of them wasted and thrown out and unloved and uneaten. Exactly. And I don't blame you. He's all an right. environmental. He's Catholic. Let's say hi to mm. Eric in New food. Jersey. You can't waste food. That's just for real. You can't waste Eric. food. Eric. So good. Hey, Eric. What's up? Listen, I just wanted to ask Twitchells, what does his mother feel like uh, when he's getting all, the, all this abuse by you? Does she want to just come over to the studio with a shotgun and shoot you guys? My mother's very supportive. I love her, and she she you called her a whore. Supports what I do. Oh, you did call her a whore though. I, 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 I was very disappointed. Did you ever mush those almond joys when you smacked them against your face? I was just angry. What about your dad? About it. That's all I wanted was one. And it's just it's just I dwell on it when I keep thinking about it. Just one. Just one. Just one. That's, just one. That's, all. That's all I wanted. What, what about your father? What does your father feel about this abuse? My dad's a Vietnam vet. He was sprayed with Agent Orange and Nam. He's he's like uh, fucking. Uh, what, 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 I'm trying to think of a comparison here. He's like a uh, like Gomer Pyle mixed with. With, with Steve Urkel, he, he's so nice, but he's kind of dull. I like, I love my dad, I'm not making fun of him. But if you met my family, I, I swear to God, you would understand a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted one. Right, boy, this is becoming a real thing, man. All right, Eric. Don't touch me. Don't touch him, Eric. Don't touch him. He just wants one. Why are you touching him? Why are you touching him? Just... Who do you think was more supportive, your dad or your mother? They're both supportive. I love my parents. I really do. I love but you ever have feelings like you don't love them? No, if never. your mom would have let you just never. have that I mean, when one, I was though. a kid, I was angry. You know, when they wouldn't let me have what I wanted. <laughs> Could have just had one. And Why are you splitting them in half now? Why are you asking so many questions? Ooh, oh. he gets a little attitude. Oh. He gets some sugar in. Oh. Yeah, why are you? No leave offense. Him, leave him alone. No offense. Let him eat his almond wow. joys. He's yeah. kind of changed. He is changing. <laughs> he's changing. It's the sugar. He is. He's oh. not twitching. He's getting a glare. <laughs> a glare with a twitch. I know. <laughs> Could you throw me one of those delicious treats? That oh, they're very good. Jimmy, My, oh, no. I mean, might as well just. At least Twitchell's is generous with his uh, almond joys, though. He's not selfish. Thank you. He Jimmy, shares. We, we might as well. well you know, there's value of sharing. In front of him. We He's might got as well his dad's give... three mile stare right now. Yeah. yeah. We might as well give Jimmy his own bag <laughs> no, at this point. No, no, no. I just want Nathaniel to once in a while. Wasn't there a guy in San Francisco that killed somebody and blamed it on eating Twinkies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Twinkie defense. Yeah. Yeah. Did that fly? Uh -oh. I don't think so. I, I feel Wait. like it did. You know what's funny? Holy Initially, shit. that makes sense. You ever see a bag of almond joy come apart like that? If I ate a whole box of those, I'd do something fucked up. <laughs> Hold <laughs> so on. That spongy shit. Yeah. Ooh. Just swallow. That's gotta be the worst thing for you ever. That's those things were never good either. <laughs> no. Damn. My mom used to always buy them. My brother used to fight over them. Like these things sucked. Yeah, Twinkies. Twinkies? Yeah. Danny, how many? 
23. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that many, though. There's so many more to eat. Look at his face. 23? How sick. many come in a bag? Well, there's only about another 20 in front of him. He's going to puke. No, he's sure. not. He, For he, sure he's, he's going to puke. No, he won't puke. Eventually, he did when he was a little boy, puke. I bet you. Did you puke when you were a little boy? When it happened initially. Yeah. You're gonna I bet puke you did. Today, buddy. Did you puke into your mother's purse? 27. Just to get her back? Just wanted one. Dude, t oh, 27 come in a bag. In one bag? No, you almost ate a whole bag. He only wanted one. That's all he ate when he was a boy. Just wanted one. All mother had to do was is give him really, one. Is that really a harsh request? Absolutely not. I don't think it is. Completely. And I think you're justified to lash out at her right now. Yeah, I'll let... I, got, I can't stress enough. Mm. I love my parents. But you know what? If your kid wants a little piece of candy and all he's asking for one, then I think you should obl obl oblige. Uh, yeah. Ugh. Exactly. Especially uh, when he does that. Chris has a very good idea. Chris in North Carolina. Chris? <laughs> hey, Owen, oh, uh, you guys are awesome. Hey, uh, I want to see if uh, little Twitchells would bob for Almond Joys on Jimmy Norton's crotch. Oh, that's uh, a great idea. Stupid. <laughs> He's already eating Almond Joys. Why does my cock have to be involved? <laughs> I already have nuts in my mouth. Yeah, give this bit somewhere to go. We got to build Those it. Those Twitchell's yeah. best line, and it just slipped right by everybody. Yeah. yeah. The mic was on the mic. What else is new? Because Eric, Eric was fucking around. Yeah, what was it? He said, I already have nuts in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to James in Florida. James? Hey, I got an idea, man. Uh, make Twitchell eat Almond Joys, uh, then make him jump till he pukes. No, he Ramon, bring Twitchell's an abortion. What? Why, hey, sir? You're making me hate Steve from Yellowstone. That's the funny guy from the tire store. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Funniest guy at Sears. <laughs> he's not going to jump. He's already jumped. Now he's just eating. He's not going to jump. He looks yeah. sick. It yeah, has he calmed down. Nah, he's mellow. Rest. Mellow him out. He doesn't jump. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh, no, he's going to hurl. That's gag one. He That's just gag one. Hurl. He just hurl. eats. He just had his first gag. He, he looks like okay. Fred Gwynn you right gonna, now. He's got yeah. a nah. fucking chuck like a broken Herman fire Herman hydrant. Chew slow. Is that Fred Gwynn? Herman yes, it is. Chew slow. He looks like a baseball player right now. A lot of chew in his mouth. A lot more to go. Don't jump. Hey, Just he's got his you. game seven face on. No kidding. Oh, don't jump. I'm back. At, I th I'm I'm pro I'm predicting projectile vomit, and I'm nope. getting out of the fucking no. way. This is like that scene from that movie. What was that Stephen King movie, the pie eating contest? What was yeah, that? Dinner? Was that what it was? Dinner? No. no. Oh, Stand by Me. Yeah, it was Stand by uh, Me. Yeah. He's uh, not twitching. Dang. Oh my god. How many are we up to? Well, he's got to finish one more because that'll be a full bag. A full, a full bag, bag, just like when he was young. Getting, you don't want to waste any of these. See? But I had a few, so it's not technically a full bag. Yeah. Jump. You had a few out of my bag, though. Jump. You don't want to yeah. jump. Never never jump while you're eating so many. Oh, wow. Look at that. Don't jump. Just oh, don't even think about jumping. He's not even jumping. No, he won't jump. He's not even jump. talking anymore. He's, he's not got a bad twitching. feeling about he's this. He's not twitching. Twitch, you want to jump? No, he doesn't want to jump. He's just enjoying some mom and joys. Pat, if I was you, maybe you'd feel better if you jump, you know? Get back to like a normal schedule. Mm, there you are. Yum, yum, yum. Yum. Eat That's it. French kiss it. There you go. Mm, yum. Small it. Oh, wow, look at that. It does mellow out his ticks, though. I, I, I gotta be honest. It's, it's, I used to get really grossed out when people throw up, and now it doesn't phase me. It doesn't me even bother throw you, right? Up right in front of me, and I go, it's just oh, funny puke. now. Remember when you were in a kid in the fat kid, in, in high school, and the fat kid used to puke in the hallway, and everybody would throw up? Yeah. You'd smell it, you're like, mm. yeah. Not me. I could stand <laughs> now you're I could so desensitized. Right over it. Mm, look at that. Yeah. Vomit. You ever watch those uh, those Brazilian films where they have fucking Roman showers? Yeah, what is, oh, what is that? It's kind of silly. On each What's other? up with the fart video? The fart porn? Have you seen that? Yeah, That's... they're not real, I don't think. It's, you don't, don't think so? No, they're awful. It looks somebody real to me. Somebody wants to know how many calories he's eaten. That's a very good question. It's got to be 50 or 60. His pancreas uh, is sweating. He's amount... getting a murderous look on his face. All right, here we go. Someone who's good at yeah. math here. Amount per serving, uh, 200 calories. How many in the serving? Three, Just three one? Serving size, three pieces. <clears throat> oh, so, that's not bad. So how many have you done? I could do this math. Nine, nine. About 30? He's up to 30? So 10 servings, let's say. So he's got about uh, ah, 2,000 calories in him. 2,000 <laughs> calories of almond joys. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my I'm God. telling you, it's coming right it's across the Not on the console. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, I've been bucket. puked on twice in my life. Hold on, Eric. Really? Eric, yes. hold on. One, hold on by a chick. Once on, my, once on my, by my brother and once on a public bus. He looks. <laughs> he has that. Uh, Bad things come in threes. I'm getting the fuck out of the way. No, he's okay. He's just chewing slow. He's Hold slow. Fucking her. Hold on. Bro. Eric has a good idea. Slow, mellow. Eric in San Diego. What's up? Ah! Good morning, boys. Good morning. I was thinking uh, he sounds a little distraught there. Maybe you should read one of E Rock's tender sentiments. Sure. No time for tender sentiments, sir. Where business is at hand. Could Twitchell's read one of your tender sentiments? Um, he's, he's feeling a little bad about himself okay, right now. Okay. You know what? 
I'll, I'll give it to you because you've been putting your fingers in your mouth. Well, let him read it, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. 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 I won't even look at it. Dan, hand Lewis his tender sentiment. No one will ever be quite like you. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. You're welcome. The world. <laughs> and how about rewarding this good boy with an almond joy? Yeah. Give this boy his just desserts. I believe mom would have gave you an almond Mother joy. would have given you at least one for that. If yes. she joy. cared. Yeah, if she really cared. She Saying really no. Cared. How do you not want an almond joy when you see a bag of them? Why do you? Why do they do Every that to little kids? Boy deserves I think you an should just joy. try three or four at a time. I don't think one at a time is getting in there. Because the mouth is not full, you're saying, Joe. Yeah, I mean, you got to really, so. to really no. get the full taste Danny? of the experience. What are we up to? Mm, you he's got 29 in his head. He's got 29. 29? It was 35 minutes ago. No, yep, no, there no, was. We were rounding it out. Oprah's for rounding it off the calories. Yeah, for calories. So <laughs> you're almost up to 2,000 calories. <sighs> Fill that mouth up with chocolate and just swallow, swallow. Do you have a Fill saliva buildup yet? <laughs> that buildup do you get yeah, when you're on a boat? What was that line from? We, when you're on a boat. <laughs> you try not to puke. Like, you're looking like, at the so horizon, <laughs> trying to I've concentrate. I've used it before in some uh, way or another. <laughs> Feel that weird uh, that oh, that yeah. queasiness oh. washes over you, <laughs> and you go like, you it? "Oh, it's gonna happen." Yeah. Hey, Stan, are there yeah. any uneaten uh, yeah. almond joys? Oh. Like I got five bucks in E-Rock pukes first. It's like a pile of this floating almond joy shit in a sea of Red Bull, and it's just it's sick. But I want more. And go ahead, it'll just melt it out. Her. It, I know. Your ass you is going to be like a broken it. main you, pipe. You have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna... If she would have let you have one. Go ahead, just pop it in your mouth. You don't want it to melt in your hand. Never would have happened. Pop it's it in your it's mouth. It's going to look like uh... one of those exploding cigars. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. He's... Bang! <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Dude, he's, he's not fine. even trying to be over that fucking barrel. No, nah, he's okay. He's you know, fine, you're dude. okay, Lewis. You're not going to puke. Oh, is that no, better? No. Yeah, that's oh. much better. No, put it down. You got to put it down because yeah, the camera. Put it down. Put it down. No, we got to put it down. So you get a good view. Oh, my God. Oh, whole fistful. Yeah, whole fistful. Those are good, Lewis. God. That's delicious. They're good, right? That's wonderful. Nothing better than an almond joy. Mm, they Chocolate. are delicious. It just he doesn't twitch. Your soul, doesn't it? Come Phil. on, twitch. Yeah. Stick them all in there. Stick them all in. A mouthful. Mm, come I on. I double dare you. A mouthful. Jimmy, what would? We'll let you lick the wrappers out. Oh, there you go. Oh, look Fill that mouth. Oh, oh, there it is. Three at a time. <gasps> Fill that emptiness. Oh. That's right. Fill that emptiness. <laughs> The naughtiness of opening that bag when you weren't supposed yes, to. Yes, feel you that emptiness. You found it and you ate them all. I, I feel the oh, puke oh, coming oh, on. That's I feel the hurl coming, people. Just swallow a little at a time. Fill I a am an expert on people throwing up. And fill I that smell stomach with love. That's right. Fill that stomach with love. Oh, God. I am coming, in a world of, of shit. shit. <laughs> that's the look. That was the look. Oh. Hi, <laughs> Joker. Are we getting pictures of this? <laughs> Why aren't you stopping Private Pile's tasty treats out? <laughs> this is my rifle. <laughs> this is my gun. <laughs> Don't let that go. Eat it. There you go. Oh, yeah. It almost fell out of your mouth. Good boy. Right? Hold it in. Oh, Danny, how many in. are we up to? Uh, we're looking at 34. Wait. <laughs> oh, my God. 32. Oh my God. Almond Joy Full oh Metal man. Jacket. <laughs> <laughs> They're no. paying for it. You eat it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Twitchell's has eaten 38 Almond Joys. Is Private Twitchell allowed to have Almond Joys in his footlocker? <laughs> Don't let it fall out of your mouth. You gotta swallow it first. Yeah. No. I no. 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 Oh, that is oh, God, that's disgusting. Push it deep. Go ahead, Nate. Quit your death pain for it. Oh, the glassy eyes. You know oh, what? Keep that, that in. A brand new oh, almond joy. I'm gonna throw up. No, man. brand new oh. almond joy. <laughs> oh, here he comes, baby. Oh, Come on. Private Twitchell, infantry. You made it. You're wasting <laughs> precious almond joys that you would have really enjoyed when you were a little kid. And your mother wouldn't give them to him. Then you're oh, spitting yeah. them out. <laughs> Spit it out into the oh. trash can, reached into the trash can filled with trash, oh. picked up the Almond Joy mound pile and shoved it right back in his mouth. Uh, yeah, that, that, that can't stay in the uh, in the, it in the garbage. It can't. It's wasted. What it's are you going to do with that? It's wasted. It's wasted. That goes this against one the whole kind of like the waste. Too. That goes against the whole OCD thing, I'm thinking. Absolutely. You're right. I don't like the waste. He doesn't like to waste. He's he a good like boy. He doesn't like waste. When he was little, he wanted every bit of that almond joy, and he got sick. Mommy wouldn't uh, let him. Take another this, one. And on the bright side of things, this has cured you of that whole jump thing. You jump. Bet. 
You, See, you, you better not have any more almond joy. You've had enough. He no is more. not jumping. You no. say jump, he just stands there. No more almond joys for you. Yeah, no yeah. more. You You've had anymore. enough. Twitchells, I, I, I think you should stop. I don't think you should have any more almond joys. I'm serious. I, I think you should stop. I'm serious. I haven't said shit Ooh. today. Yeah. He gets an attitude. Maybe that's really he does get an attitude with you. With yeah, that I mean, the sugar rush. The sugar high. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, something about 4,000 calories. <laughs> yeah. Gets you a little attitude. No, man. Just, uh... It's all right. Just one more. Just one more. And stop. Don't waste it. You already chewed it. You can't yeah. waste it. No. If there's a god in heaven, he's going to fucking yak these up right now. Get me a bucket. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> a waffer thin mint. <laughs> that look is pretty damn scary. Yeah. Uh, Let a boy that? enjoy his almond joys. So is your mama. We're going to have to get him on. Uh, no, he didn't. <laughs> we're going to have to get him on uh, Tyra. <laughs> Um, oh, Joy's God. got nuts, Mounds. Oh, don't. Oh, two yeah, and three that's a tire. I can cure this. He's got one leg up now. Yeah, he's eating, enjoying these, yes. man. Get filled up with almond joy. What is he up to, Danny? Mm -hmm. 37. <laughs> 37. Oh, no a way. lot of people would say that is Opie. enough. Too much almond that? joy for one little uh, boy, but I don't think that? it is. So it's just. <clears throat> slow. Slow, Lewis. Slow. You're kidding, right? This is going to be like therapy. He's going to get Good over it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> is there a Guinness Book of World Records <laughs> on Almond Joys? Did I do it again? <laughs> yes, you did. How the fucking word. What would you say? I don't Nothing. say that. Okay, tell me later. <laughs> Slow, Lewis. Slow. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 don't oh, pull oh, it. You're wasting it's it. Drooling. You're wasting it. Keep it in. Keep Ew. Wow. He's scary. You look at that look. Why? He knows. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> he knows. He knows. Private Joker. It's good. Jimmy knows. Ah, fuck is good. I know it is. So good. I know. You fucking love it. I know. It's hard. <laughs> and you know what? You deserve it too. You're weirding good. me out. Wow. You wanted was one, man. Just, Just one. It's a fucking hard to ask. Whoa. No. Whoa. Right, there you go. There you there go. There you go. Now he's oh, yummy. Now he's oh. punching him on the table and. Oh boy. And still eating them. That must. I would. I would have been so angry. Like when I was little, if I wanted Halloween candy and I, there was a whole bag of it, I would have been so angry. Yeah. Furious. Furious. I, the anger I would have furious. felt at Did not being. Furious. It would have made I mean, me Twitchell, feel. She loves angry. every other kid in the neighborhood, but you. Right. Exactly. Meanwhile, he hasn't had any Tourette's since he's been <laughs> I know. No. I think we've cured a lot. We cured the jumping thing, and we cured the whole Tourette's thing. Yeah. It's all just a little sugar. <laughs> Evidently, <laughs> the cure to Tourette's is to eat almond joys. Don't touch him, Eric. Oh. Let a boy enjoy his almond joy. Oh, oh you're God. wasting it. Don't waste it. You're <laughs> wasting it in the trash can, <laughs> man. Some, some of us. Those, those were really good almond joys. And, you know, you the almond joys. joys. There's so many. Back into the trash. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's pushing All right. It's like a so disgusting. Skull. He's pushing him back. It's in his coming mouth. out of his mouth. It looks like shit, and then he pushes it back into his mouth. So what? He doesn't want to waste it. What's wrong with a boy who enjoys his treats without wasting them? The anger I would have felt at not being able Twitchell. to have any. She candy. was gonna give candy to thirty other boys. She didn't even know. And girls. And girls. Exactly. Dirty, course, filthy girls. Sluts. Yeah. She hates my you. Joys. Yeah. They're mine. What'd you want to do with them, huh? With the girls or the amateurs? With the girls. <laughs> Do you want to punish them? He's <laughs> getting another one. I bet you wanted to eat all their almond joys, didn't you? Send them home without them. <clears throat> how come the how come the jump thing isn't working on you now? How come jump isn't working on you now? There's nothing that fills you like an almond joy. There's nothing more important than this. This is weird. <laughs> His Tourette's has been cured. You really are. <laughs> It's so bad. I think it's it's you're doing a bit. But I know you're not now. Uh, there's a million dumb things going on here. So, so where did he eat these uh, almond joy uh, almond joys when he was a kid? He locked himself somewhere. He in a closet. Hid. Where'd you hide? Where'd oh, you hide? He just sat down. That's never good. Put him in a cabinet. You found him though, right? You looked and you looked and you found him. And and putting him in the cabinet with that door closed was like her love that was closed off from you. <laughs> You had best square your ass away and start shitting me, Tiffany Cufflinks. Is it, or I will definitely fuck you up. Is he feeling satisfied? Jimmy? Not yet. Now, there's more. He's getting there, though. He feels better, but there's more. Are you little maggots? You make me want to vomit. There's more. Isn't there, Twitchells? Isn't there's always there. more, Lewis. 
Slow. You want to uh, promote your website? Armadjoy.com. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter by Lewis. So much for having Hershey's as a sponsor. Laughter by Lou.com. Armadjoy.com. Oh. Wish we had that song. Arm and Joy's got nuts. Mouth don't. 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 Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes, Sometimes you don't. 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 Um, and Joy's got nuts. He mouths don't. Wow, he's kind of twitching. The twitching's starting to come back a little, too. No, that's all right. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Real milk chocolate? Don't puke. You're going to waste oh, all of it, man. you have to read it. Um, um and Joy's got nuts. Mm, mouths mouth don't. don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Knows. Jesus, like what's in there? Heroin? Nah, he knows. <laughs> he knows. He's, he knows. He's satisfying an emptiness yeah, right now. Of course now. he is. All he wanted oh, was one. That's oh. very reasonable. Oh. Every uh -oh. boy wants one. Uh oh. Uh oh. There. No, he's reading the more. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes, Sometimes you, you don't. don't. I'm nuts. Mounds don't. That's all you get. Why'd you stop it? Why'd you stop it? Yeah, why'd you stop Let's it? Let's start that again. Do you have that again? Let's have that again for you. Sometimes you feel like a nut. He's Sometimes smiling. you don't. <laughs> That's it. That's Why don't all you, you stop me? it? That's all you get. Such a fun song. Oh, um, man, Joyce got nuts. How hot is that Pamela Rogers chick? She that was chick that fucked that little kid. Oh, she's fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. fantastic. Yeah. So hot. He was not slouch either. <laughs> <laughs> That's that. Can't blame either one of them. <laughs> uh oh, we got. <laughs> Twitch uh, started dry heaving toward Eric. That's Eric. the thing about him. There's a vengeance uh, with his puking. Yep. No, he's trying to hold it back. And he pukes and he goes back in and grabs oh, two more. Have some more. Oh, replace no. it. Replace it. I taste the Red Bull. He missed. Dr. Oh, Bill. He stinks. He tastes the Red Bull. <laughs> Dude, it's puking. I taste the Red Bull. I taste the fucking Red Bull. I oh my it. god. It's the almond joy. It smells it's like, like puke red and red bull at the joy. same time. Look at Rogan's just hanging out. <laughs> like I've seen this shit with like horse red assholes. Red this doesn't joy. smell nearly as bad as horse assholes. <laughs> <laughs> this is nothing to you, right? Yeah, I've oh seen god, Now we need contestants to eat that <laughs> and then we got a contest. Roaches, animal cocks, I've seen it all. <laughs> all that matters now though is just keep replacing the almond joy. That's cool. You threw up about six of them, so you gotta have a couple more just to get back to where you were. Danny, what's the number up to? I know he's puked a little out. Yeah, the count's kind of off. I don't know how. <laughs> but how many has he attempted to eat? Uh, five, seven, 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 Forty-one. Forty-one. Oh, no way. Forty-one? He's still oh, chewing. Oh. That's, uh, let's see. That's he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Ah, oh, there's drool coming out of his mouth. It's chocolate drool. 3,400 calories about. He's a good boy, and he deserves this little treat. Oh, no, no, not 30. When's the last time he did this? Probably a long time, right? You treat yourself. Watch it, watch it. Oh. No, he's okay. Just swallow it. 2,700 calories Sloop. about. That yeah. thick, heavy swallow. It's thick oh. and it's heavy. Okay. He's trying to okay. fucking puke on people. No, he's not. No. If you're going to puke, no. can you puke uh, in front of the camera? He's keeping it down. <laughs> he's Gotta not trying be. to puke. He's trying to hold it oh, in. No. Oh, he no. He doesn't want to waste it. Oh, no. You're all right, right, Twitchell? Sure he is. Here, listen to this. This will suit. This will The garbage pail. Get the garbage pail. God damn it. That's okay. That's okay. Give him an almond joy already. He doesn't feel good. This is uh, unsanitary no, work condition. <laughs> it certainly is. I don't think CBS radio would be going for There you go. No. These motherfuckers joy. over at XM just don't care about your health. What? Uh, oh, God. It does just reek. Yeah. It smells good like almond joy candy. Please hit the, the, the garbage pail. No, I let him. He's just yeah. enjoying it. He, like, loses control and the no, garbage pail falls Anthony. over. No, he's trying to hold it in. Performance His body art. retches. He's trying to hold it in. He doesn't want to waste it. It, look, oh. it looks like a German Shepherd had diarrhea <laughs> over here. <laughs> you don't eat a whole bag of that yumminess and try to waste it. You want to eat and save all of it. You guys see the logs. What's the, the point? Exactly. Twitchell. You guys see the logs Twitchell. on the floor. Did you want to puke on your mother? No, he wanted to eat it all up. No. Eat it all. Why waste it on her? Wow. How good were they when you were eating them when you were a kid? They were delicious, right? 
<laughs> Naughty treat. Uh, right? You get me? Sneak a treat. <laughs> you get me? Do you get me? <laughs> you fucking get me? I get you, man. Good, I get good. you. Good. Please good. stop looking at me like that. <laughs> What's the sugar do to him? He's already thrown up, and yet he's he's eating more. Yeah. Because there's many more to be eaten, Joe. What is he going to do? Waste them? He's Leave them for eat... other boys and girls? They're his. <laughs> he's got to eat uh, what's on the table in front of him. Jimmy with the rationalization. <laughs> but it's the truth. They're his. They were bought for him. There you go. It's like every little boy's fantasy to have a whole bag of almond joys all for you. Me. Danny's me. covering up his uh. All you. It stinks in here. His nose and mouth with the shirt. There me. Kind of good picture? that I have a cold. Yeah, get a picture of the floor. Give him a napkin, Kev. Stop being so yeah, selfish. Kevin. Give the boy a napkin. I'm sorry for my manner. That's okay. That's You're just right. enjoying. Got to give it up to Child Star. He's right in there with that camera. Child really Star. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, uh oh. No. <laughs> that is petrifying. I'm not this looking at him. I, really I can't good. even look at him anymore. Hey, somebody move Iraq's box of I, tender sentiments. I like Rogan. He's just sitting there reading the paper like oh, he's Rogan a little did. breakfast nook. Rogan seems so much <laughs> wait, worse. Waiting to have a soft cooked egg. Yeah, Joe's like, ah. Oh, that's the money shot right there, oh, people. That's, that's it, buddy. <laughs> that was it. That was it. <laughs> Full on. All right, even Joe, even Joe is whispering. Puke. He he just picked up an almond joy that was covered in puke and he shoved it in his mouth. And I guess that one made me try Eve. There you go. I I am not invincible. When it Eric's comes to throw it up. And I just cut it. You gander. can you can break me. I, he just broke me. Danny's gonna puke. Oh, Danny should stop. I gotta it. admit, all I smell is almond joy. Who joints. needs Halloween? Oh, Who my needs Halloween. God. He just Who broke me. It? He no just one broke me. Oh, God. No one needs right, it. Listen. Oh, there's some, there's, look at that almond joy on the console being wasted. <laughs> Let me tell you. Dude, he so threw shot. up on one of those <laughs> almond joys we got and the... then shoved it back in his mouth. Whose camera is that? Joe, look at this shot. Oh, Get it to Steve immediately. That's got to go on opianthony.com. Show Rogan that shot. You've got to see perfect. the shot one of your boys got, man. One of the death squad got. The... <laughs> <laughs> He's got a perfect picture. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> <laughs> this looks, oh, it God, looks no. photoshopped. Oh, it looks like God. there's a gopher <laughs> jumping into his mouth. It's <laughs> <laughs> great. It looks like a fucking, it looks like a fucking animal is running into his mouth. <laughs> Holy shit. At light speed. Oh. All right, let's, oh, God, that's the damn. greatest puke picture ever. It's all, over the, it's perfect. It's all over the studio. All over the console. Oh, right where Hawk sits. <laughs> Hawk, is oh, my God. Hawk is not happy. <laughs> no. Oh, look at Eric. He looks like a rape victim. Grab those grab those CDs. <laughs> he almost Can got I have me. some more napkins? How about uh, some Almond Joys for this boy? How about some puke-covered Almond Joys? Oh, There's a few man. of those over there that are still pukey. No, oh. That's all. He, he doesn't... Right. No, no more. Just, just yeah, throw yeah, them yeah. out. We're, We're done. Enough. Just well, get rid of those. Uh, fuck uh, you. Uh, I tell you when you're done. Oh, <laughs> get rid of oh, shit. That's right. Lewis tells Baby you. spider. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, Pat, thanks a lot for this little uh, tidbit, by the way. Oh, my pleasure. I've been on the line the whole oh, time. Yeah, he's been enjoying it. He's Pat. I gotta That's thank you. He's been on the line for four I gotta thank minutes. you, Pat, because yeah. I like these almond juice. It took a while, but at least there was a big payoff. Oh, yeah, I wasn't the going anywhere until the money shot came. The gopher. <laughs> hey, can we get that picture up online, Steve? Where's. <laughs> can someone give that to Steve? Yeah, that they, picture uh, has got yeah. to go online immediately. It's actually. Do you have a cable? Uh, yeah, he'll have oh, a cable. Uh -oh. Can you stop fucking feeding him those things, man? I'm getting sick. Here, Danny. Brian, get that out. camera. Hey, uh, Jason in Virginia Beach, what's up? <clears throat> Hey, oh. man, that is the funniest damn bitch ever, man. We're, we're sitting here smoking the fattest joint. <laughs> You're smoking a joint? We're sitting here smoking a joint. You got KB? It. Is it KB? Oh, the joint shit. Shut the fuck up and listen. Is it KB? <laughs> What's that? Is it KB? Are you smoking KB? Killer oh, yeah, blood. definitely. It's definitely kind of blood. A joint or blood? Did you say blunt or joint? It's a joint. Oh, I get the blunt, <laughs> Yeah, I like blunts, but yeah, we're candy's like his uh, nutty professor medicine. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, uh oh, look out! Watch out, look out. Joe. Joe. <laughs> Joe whips around. <laughs> yeah, but dude, that that is so funny. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, God, no. That's just spit up, though. That's not throw up. Yeah, it's just a little bit. That, that photo was throw up. That was yeah. real. That, the, yeah, all the liquid. In case you don't dis- think this is hey, real, go to openanthony.com in a little while. The picture is now up, by the way, on uh, myspace.com slash Jim Norton. No, it is and not. And myspace.com hey, slash talking monkey. Jimmy. <laughs> Give me it. Yeah. Are you going to be at the Borgata? No, Joseph is. I'm at the Borgata tonight. You're going to be at the Borgata. I'm yeah, doing tonight. it in May. Tonight. Tonight. Joe's yeah, doing you it You can have it now. And you know what? That's like 40 miles east of uh, oh. the electric factory. In Philadelphia? <laughs> yeah, on uh, May 19th. You're going to be down there, right? Bill Burr will Bill be Burr there. Bill Burr will be there. Greg yes. Giraldo. Who are you working with, Bill? Uh, uh, Greg Giraldo. Very funny guy as well. And yes. a guy named Mike Perbiglia. How's he? Not good so guy. good, huh? Not good so guy. Good guy. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Eric in New York, what's up? Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, hey. Listen, what would happen, uh, would his OCD just kick in if you were just full of almond joy and just take it away from him before the, before the big climax? What would happen? We, we got the big uh, climax, but he refuses to stop eating. Yeah, we, we he think he's had enough almond joy. Just take it away from him. See if he'll fight Joe Rogan. No, yeah. He's so sick right now, he can't even stand up. We don't want he's to see sitting that, down. Yeah. Yeah. We, but he's still Hey, Opie, you want to do the math on how many calories he just puked up? <laughs> how many did he eat? 40-something? Uh, uh-oh. That's a close to 50. His head's close t- to 50? His head's yeah. tilting back. See, he throws up with his head back, so it fills up his mouth, and then it pours out of his mouth. Because he's trying not to throw up. Yeah, it's really sick. Well, it smells like chocolate in here. I, I love the smell of chocolate. chocolate. Bile. Red, yeah, delicious. Ah, no reason. I to... know exactly what that smells like. Yeah. Oh, odd. Like, of course I, you do. You've, you've... I've seen people. They they serve it. They, on Fear Factor bile, actual animal bile. Oh. In cows. That's one of the ingredients that we make people drink. Oh. No, no. Hey, hey, hit the pail. Hey, 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 get the pail. Anywhere but the pail. What the fuck? That's disrespectful. <laughs> That's disrespectful. You're puking right on my feet. He's got to be nuts that he's puking so close to the to the death that squad. Insane. Yeah. Sorry, Joe. yeah, you know what that's like? That's like suicide by cop. Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. Just puke on a couple of UFC guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're you not get me. These guys will snap your neck. Don't hurt me. Yeah. yeah I don't, don't think either me. one of them would grab him. With Look how there's him. all that Red Bull in the puke. Yo, I'm you can see out, it in man. the puke. Yeah. see the Red Bull. Big Kev! Big Kev, give him a napkin. Stop thinking about hey, yourself. Should we take a break? I got, I'm tapping yeah, out. Yeah, let's take a break. Cause I got to take a piss and get out of this fucking room. We're going to take a break and continue. You can continue eating if you have to, Twitchells, but uh, uh, but we have. To, I know I have that dry, pasty feeling in my mouth. Like, want some mule juice? Uh, okay. I'll meet you in the bathroom. All right, we're uh, we're gonna step on, step aside for a little while. It's the Opie and Anthony program. Check it out, the Opie and Anthony program on XM Satellite Radio. The ONA virus is a well. Is a live and well? Yeah, is a uh, well. <laughs> I know. I'm a little. Uh, yeah, there's other viruses that are alive and well. I know. On I'm the little, floor. I'm a little delirious. Quick update: Twitchell's is dead. <laughs> <laughs> we forced him out of the studio because uh, the cleaning crew had to come in. There's puke all over the place. We're getting video and pictures up on the website in the very near future. They're working on it right now. OpianAnthony.com. Jimmy and I were discussing this outside the studio. I'll be honest. I go, Jimmy. You think some of that was acting? You think some of that was faking? Because the look he was given uh, seemed a little calculated, and you're convinced no way. Absolutely not, because I'll tell you why. What was happening is he was going, that's like a drug. And what he was getting, that was behaving like somebody who, who who's like, who's getting high or who's drunk. You don't, you wouldn't overeat and calculate behaving that way. And yeah. then he, even in the bathroom, he's like, they're not mad at me, are they? It was like a guy who's high. He's all who's, fucked up. You understand? It's, yeah, that's not about police. That's really But weird. on the bright side, he wouldn't jump when you said jump. And yeah. And he wasn't yeah. doing the spastic thing or stuff. Nothing. Yeah, we found the cure to Tourette's. That's yep, it. we found almond it. Joys. Whole bag of almond joy. But will they give us recognition for that? Nope. No, no. they won't. Rogue and had line of the fucking day where that picture wait till you see it online it looks like a gopher jumping into his mouth <laughs> it really does because <laughs> it's all blurry and it's looks, blurry yeah, it's it looks brown like, and huge it looks fuzzy it looks and blurry huge. like it's motion blur <laughs> And it looks like a solid. It doesn't look like yeah, a liquid. No. That was the perfect shot of yeah. him vomiting chocolate <laughs> of anybody. I defy you to find a better chocolate vomit Brian photo. Brian Reichel, cameraman extraordinaire. Unbelievable. A member of the Death Squad. Somebody's gonna, that's going to be on one of those shit sites. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Of course it is, yeah. Somebody's going to whack off to that picture. <laughs> oh, fuck, I don't yeah. think And they get mad later. It's yeah. only chocolate. This fucking site is bogus, fake. <laughs> 
Fake I, I don't think there's one picture on the web that hasn't been jerked off to. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter what it is, a potted yeah, plant. That's the rule. Oh, that's that's it, The other internet rule is if there's a photo of you on the internet somewhere, someone has photoshopped a dick in your mouth. For sure. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> yeah. You're in denial. <laughs> Let's say hi to Chad in New York. Chad? What's going on, son? What's hey, up, Chad? Chad. Not much. That's why I say your show's fucking awesome, dude. You guys are hilarious. Twitchels is a sick son of a bitch for eating those, uh, Joy's out of the garbage can. You should have seen yeah, when he ate them when the puke was on him. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, that, that almost made me throw up. I'm coming out of it. You, you know when you take like a tater tot and you, and you get the last bit of ketchup? Oh. That's what he was doing with the uh, the almond <laughs> joys oh. and the puke. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't be. It was like um, <laughs> it was like scraping a tater tot in baked beans. I think the people yeah. at Peter Paul ought to be. Uh, informed that maybe that should be something they should uh, look into. Yeah. The vomit-covered yeah, Almond Joy. Ugh. Hey, what did, what did Bill say before that almost, uh... What? What, what happened? Did you, why did they call you a bit wrecker? I just, uh, uh... He's ruined a few bits. No, but what did you say today? I didn't hear anything that would have... <laughs> I'm afraid to open my mouth. Does it matter now or no? A lot of people were wondering where the fart noises are coming from. All, for the past two days, and we, I, never we, we didn't want to explain where the fart noises oh, oh. Uh, were coming from, but Bill Burr was so fascinated with what I was doing, he had to ask on the air. No, as I thought, was that like some sort of I'm Norton fucking phone. sex toy? Is that supposed to feel like a vagina, like you stick your dick in the thing? I, I didn't I'm, know what I'm, it was. Bill, I don't use sex toys. I actually, I'm, I'm very organic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I rarely even use lube. <laughs> No, yeah, I beat off dry. Yeah, I do too, but it desensitizes <laughs> my dry. I dry it's like a man, well, like John Wayne. That's how John Wayne. <laughs> you don't do this my slide. Hand. No, I if do you don't grip. have any lube. You don't do this slide. Grip, do the grip, grip. It's all about Three fingers grip. too. Not even a full hand. Three. Three it's fingers. abusive too when you jerk off like that. You got to use Eros. There's a black bottle called. No, Eros. there's oh, some. Man. You know something? You could uh, come a lot quicker with the grip <laughs> than you can with the slide. Not, I don't know, man. I just, I, I, when I have the fucking, the, the grip, grip I'll and jerk loose. off soft. The My grip dick will be loose. soft. Yeah. Yeah. If I have the grip and, like, lotion, <laughs> I will blast. <laughs> I will blast. You know what's funny? You guys are really destroying the image of, that people have of people in the entertainment industry. They what, get pussy off? all the time. We're sitting there. When I jerk off, oh, you hear something? my technique Dude. that I like to I, use. I jerked off the other day <laughs> when my girlfriend was lying in bed asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I jerked off right next to her. And I tried to do a really calm and quiet. Why? Because I was afraid. We were on vacation together, and I was going to wake her up and fuck her, but I was like, you know what? For what? What's the point? I'm like, I just want to, and I don't even want to think about, I want to think about another chick. So I was just oh slowly God. trying to jerk off while she was lying in bed right next to me. <laughs> Did and she wake she came up? And I went to sleep. I don't think, I was worried at one point in time, she like, she her breathing changed a little bit. I'm like, is she awake? What did you, know? you do with it? <laughs> did that add uh, to the excitement? I have a rule. I have a safe zone in my body for some reason where it's okay for my loads to land, <laughs> and that is between my my like my solar plexus and my belly button from here to here. For whatever reason, when anywhere there, else, I don't give gay. a fuck. If I came in my face, I would not be able to go back to sleep. But if I came right here, I'm like, yeah, fuck it. That's a good place. Wake up and <laughs> potato flakes on yeah, you. She wakes up. She's like, she just covers up and she's like, why are you reading Boys Life? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, these lads are so athletic. <laughs> Where's Hancho, by the way? This is hysterical. He threw it out. I didn't want it. Uh, don't you? I mean, if, don't you have a safe zone? Dude. Everybody has a safe zone. Where your lows land there, you're like, ah, oh, what the fuck? It's no big deal. It's no, like, I would oh, always yeah. need, like, um, some kind of uh, Tissue? covering. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like the a sheets work. Fuck it. A t or a uh, uh, towel that was going to go into laundry or something. When I was a teenager, <laughs> a and I, dis I discovered masturbation. I don't know why I would do this, but what I would do is I would come home from school, I would jerk off, just let it pull in my belly button, and I would like fall asleep, and then wake up. Like I would wipe it off you with the sheet. Sick. I would wipe it off with the sheet, and then just move the sheet over to the left. So I had a whole piece of my sheet uh, that was like all dried loads. And my grandmother was helping me change it one time, and she went, "What happened?" I'm like, "I spilled Pepsi." <laughs> Pepsi. <laughs> what the fuck is in your Pepsi? <laughs> I know. Exactly. Exactly. Just like, going just going out of your rail. Hey, there's a couple of really good phone calls coming in here. Let's <laughs> let's say hi to Rob on Long Island. Rob. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. How you doing, sweet tits? Hey. Yeah, yeah I, have to, I have to comment on what I saw during the break on Pal Talk. You know, uh, intern Bill is fearless because you got one guy cleaning up the puke with these latex gloves on, and Bill is just, like, diving right in there like a team player, just cleaning it up with his hands. You know, yep. it's, he really is, like, afraid of nothing. But Bill would be the perfect Marine if he uh, wasn't a fidget. Pal Talk is fucking crazy. Isn't it great? There's some Yeah, the show just continues like, oh, during the breaks. Later. They just keep watching during the break. Bill's actually scrubbing the console with his beard. He's an animal. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, are you having a problem uh, cleaning up the puke? Nah, just it's in the carpet and 
before it hardened, we could put a lot of resolve in it. So I'm letting that sit. And Twitch just puked everywhere, man. Yeah, it got ev- uh, it got everywhere. It got on the computer keyboard. Uh, it, we had to throw yeah, away what the pen out. holder. Yeah, we got it. Got the a cup pen holder there. cup, and then uh, it it might have worked its way, which is is going to be really bad. It did. Underneath the it did. gap in the it console. Did. Oh. That has to I be was able, flushed out or something. I was able to go like this. <laughs> and be serious. Kind of, Where's the Purell? He's got it right next to him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was Purelling because I touched the doorknob, and I don't know what the yeah. hell you gotta going throw on. Out, you got to throw out that keyboard, man. That's, that's, you're never no, it's not. Eric clean, uses man. it. Yeah. Eric's fine. He got some on his hand. Where Are the it? pictures up on opianthony.com yet? Coming. Coming. The Eric's fear factor for oh. me is just walking to my car after the show. <laughs> I'm just, I'm disgusted by everything. You just have a problem with germs? It's not germs. People are a misconception that I, 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 it's disgusting things. Oh, uh, okay. Like germs, I don't care. It's not, I don't care about germs, but disgusting things. Like so that's my fear a- factor was so putrid to me, but I was compelled to watch. Like when they're chowing down on those intestines and stuff. I, I can't see how they do it. Mouth full of bugs, transfer into someone else's mouth. I, I lose it. I just be like, I can't have been watch there it. And smelled it. The smell is the worst. Really? Oh, some of the things were so fucking bad. What kind of bugs? Did you do anything bug, with roaches? Bugs don't sm- yeah, I ate a roach once. I ate a Madagascar hissing cockroach. Oh, those oh, yeah. are big, a fucking nasty. Cell phone. They make <laughs> noise. <laughs> it, was it was. It was huge. It was disgusting. But it was, they, they really don't taste that bad. No, what I mean, is it's it? It's kind of gross, but it's not that. Kind of slimy inside, yeah, though, right? Like, yeah, but so is an almond joy. What it tastes like. <laughs> You know, think about it. it. You know, not that bad. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like a gooey <clears throat> almond. Let's go to Sherry before we lose her. She's from Atlanta. She's got an interesting jerk off story. Sherry, what's up? Hi, guys. How are you? Good. Uh, um, I just called to tell you that I got a DUI a couple of years ago, and they were doing like an expose in the news about this Slack County that I got. You know, they weren't making us work that much, but they. I'm on the side of the road wearing an orange vest. I look like crap. And I'm picking up garbage, and they put a picture of me in the paper where I was, like, holding a bag of garbage. Looked like crap, and I got a message from uh, a letter from the prison saying, we loved your picture in the newspaper, and we've been jerking off to you for weeks and passing your picture around. I was holding a bag of trash in front of a graveyard. Are you hot? (laughs) Yeah, are you Um, hot? Uh, I, She's prison I hot. I might say, um, but I was wearing a coat with a vest on top of it. With How, a big orange you, vest. Hey, could you send us a copy of the picture? To, I'm sure you still have the article. To prisoners, that's totally nude. By you right. are bending over. <laughs> I was I was actually holding the trash up in the air, looking at it like, ew. Could you send and it to us, I please? Don't know. Absolutely, I will. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, you jerk off to anything if you can. Yeah, gonna, fuck it. But the something. warden apparently pretty much reamed this guy because I called the prison and I was like, please get my freaking picture out of the jail. And they, I, I, they told me we took care of him. So I don't know what they did to this guy, but I don't know. Well, it's you can't really be creepy. Some- you can't be surprised they're jerking off to your picture if you look sloppy. They they resort to fucking each other. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's true. You're a supermodel to them. That's true. God, that made my day. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, anyway, take care, guys. Yeah, anything was good material, especially back when you were a kid. I mean, catalogs. Sure. Things, you know, no internet when I was growing up. So it was my mother's Just Cosmo. My my mother used to subscribe to Cosmo. And there was a section, one page in the back every month that was called Cosmo Tells All. And for some reason, they needed a nude picture of a girl on that thing. So every month I knew there was a new nudie. What about the breast? <laughs> and just like a fucking monkey. What about, <laughs> what about the breast cream ads? Uh, I don't remember many of those, back of those magazines. The thing with me, though, was I really needed nudity. I couldn't, like, <laughs> like bra and panty ads were okay. They work. But nudity to me, it was over, Johnny. As a kid, you'd go through the woods sometimes and find someone's stash. Like, if you're walking through the woods on fall day and, and kick oh, a pile yeah. of leaves, and you'd see, like, the hardcore oh, porn. Yeah. Where, where, or even that shit where, it, like, they were showing blowjobs and right, stuff, right, where right. the pages were thick, yeah. you know, thick, glossy paper. Yeah, you'd find great. that, and it was like, I'm going to be jerking off for years. What are the this odds? Gold. They, you're just walking through the woods. That happens all the time. Stash. People were always hiding them. They're, or you'd find yeah. another, uh, like, another neighborhood's tree what fort. What was that? Yeah. And you'd yeah, crawl yeah, up yeah, into yeah. their yeah. tree fort and find a stash. This is growing up on Long houses. Island. I like how I'm still over here like I'm going to get puked on. Me yeah. Move, yeah why you can you not move there? your chair into the black belt? I didn't oh, jerk off. I didn't jerk off until I was 16 years old. Wow, really? That was the first time I ever jerked off. I was getting laid before I was jerking off. 
Really? Yeah. And I figured out while I was while I was getting, I had this girlfriend, and she moved uh, from where I was to like 90 minutes away when I was like 16, 16, almost 17. And you know, I would only see her like every couple weeks or something. And I was I was going crazy. And then I said, well, let me just try jerking off. That was like the first time I ever jerked <laughs> Take off. Take a whack at it. And as soon as I jerked off, I was like, I don't even want to call her. That chick is annoying. She won't tell me. Put up shut the fuck up. That's great. Tells me what kind of music to put up with all that shit, that bitch. <laughs> Time to take a nap. <laughs> That's another thing. It wasn't like that back then. It was you know you, you'd get a girlfriend or something, and it would be it would be like weeks or something in between. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was like a special occasion. So you had a jack in between. <laughs> And then, like, things had a, the fucking stars had to align properly. My parents think I'm going here, and this right, one right, thinks right. that. And you'd set it all up so you could get, like, a half hour to fuck before a father comes to pick her up at the movie On theater. On a pile of leaves in the middle yeah. of the woods. Yeah, it didn't matter. And then you have to worry about getting her pregnant. Oh, oh yeah, every month you worry. And I used to be, like, the chemist of uh, the school. I was, uh, like, at uh, John Glenn High School. I'd, uh, I, my mother didn't give a shit what was going on. You know, she's trying to raise three kids. She's working like 24 hours a day. So I'm running a fucking uh, pregnancy test lab <laughs> in my house because they. It was like the late 70s, early 80s, and that EPT tests had just come out. Where, but it was really like you had to put it in a still place for uh, eight hours straight, and a ring would form on the bottom if uh, she was pregnant. Uh, it wasn't just piss on a stick and instantly, and you couldn't move this fucking thing. And it had to stay in the dark, <laughs> like you couldn't leave it out. So I would go to school, and if anybody thought their girlfriend was pregnant, they'd pay me, and I would go out and buy this shit. <laughs> I'd get uh, a cup full of the girl's urine and oh. do the test and come back with the fucking results. That's the next hilarious. Day. How That's many, how I uh, made. Some people stole many... pot. Dude, I had to do about twenty a year. How many? Like, how, how many, many were pregnant? Yeah, how many? Mm, not many, maybe one or two that I had. How long were you? Did they flush the baby? <laughs> uh, no, I had 100%. Oh, they're going for abortion. Uh, how, how, uh, what, what, was the, what was the reaction? I mean, it must have been... Uh, to the pregnant ones? Yeah. Must have yeah been I, I never told the girls it was always the guy. <laughs> so he, they were like, you know, the folks, news, you know, the guy, the guy had to go tell the girl. Dude, I was fucking telling the girl. Tripper. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that was my thing. Dude. One little kick down the yeah. steps, social studies. You got gym class with her? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dodgeball, right yeah. into her gut. <laughs> you throw a fucking baseball at her stomach? <laughs> Look at this. Fastball. What's what, wrong? What, uh, big guy's reading? What is he reading? Fat smash oh, no. diet. <laughs> I would not yeah, bring him in eat here. green eggs. And oh, air. it's up. It's up. The picture is up on Eric, OpenAnthony.com. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> OpenAnthony.com and FoundYourMusic.com. Yeah, Twitchell's yeah. puking. That is one of the best puke pictures you'll like ever a, see. Like a, an octopus tentacle yeah, coming it's like out a of a monster. It. That is some type of monster. It's an alien it, face hugger. I swear to you, it's not photoshopped. It looks so photoshopped. Yeah, totally. That is pure that is chocolate vomit. Picture. Pure chocolate un unadulterated chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, it's a scene out of like an Exorcist type movie. <laughs> Let's go to Texas. It's wonderful. Uh, who is this? It's Daniel. Oh, hey, I was hoping it was Danielle. What? Oh, because of the story. Oh, Daniel. You I was hoping it was Danielle because of the story you're about to tell. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. I'm a truck driver, man. When I'm going down the road, I like to jack off. Oh, great. I used to jerk yeah. off when I drove limos. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yep. I used to jerk off in the front seat. If I was dri if I dropped somebody off and I had to drive home like an hour and a half, I'd jerk off to pass the time. <laughs> Didn't you worry about getting into an accident? No. No. Yeah, I, I, by a think truck. That, man. I figured I could. I used to deliver newspapers, so I was very good at steering uh, the steering wheel with my my legs. Yeah. I would steer with my knee. I would drink I would and drive all the, the time. The way I, I do, I'd have a, a pile of papers next to me, yeah. and I would fold the papers, and I had like a a, a bag hanging from the uh, rearview mirror, and I'd stuff the paper in the bag and throw it out the window. So it was almost all with my hands when I was steering with my knee. Oh, so I could steer and beat off the chain. <laughs> I could even grab my balls with my left hand, do the steering wheel with my right hand, and beat off. <laughs> <laughs> so how's that work for you? Uh, it's good, man. Yeah. I just always worry if I get into a wreck, one of these days I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to be laying there with my pants down with my ankles. Yeah. Well, you're dead that'd anyway. Pretty, that'd be pretty fucking yeah. embarrassing. But, that story would have been much better if it was a girl. Thank, yeah. Thank you, sir. Let's, right. Let's go to Doug out, Doug. Doug. What's up? Hey, you guys ever actually wake up your girlfriend while jerking off next to her? Yes. Let's fucking look on their faces. It's awful, it's right? Like, have oh, you ever been shit, caught? I... You ever been caught beating off? Yeah, like you lean forward, your head hits the uh, the mobile. 
<laughs> clink, clink, clink. He makes noise. <laughs> my girlfriend got pissed at me once. Never been jerking off. Really? Call me jerking off. She walked into my office and I was beating up. Back when I lived with her. Walked into my office and I was beating off in front of the computer and she got mad at me. Didn't anyone well, fucking I'm not knock? Enough for you. I'm not enough for you. Oh, boy. Really? Yeah. I had a girl caught me. She laughed and jumped on. Well, that's fun. Yeah. That's yeah. a good girl. That's a keeper. Yeah. Never yeah, got keep, caught. Uh, oh, complete opposite of what happened to me. I I hadn't banged my ex-wife probably in about seven months. Whoa. And I, I was so used to jerking off next to it. Well, that's why I cheated on her, one of those many reasons. Uh, so I was jerking <laughs> off next to her one night. And, and I, I digress. I, All right. Uh, yeah, I thought it would be a good idea to, like, kneel in her face and kind of wake her up while doing it. <laughs> and she rolled over, opened her eyes, looked at me and goes, that's not even attractive. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> she, she rolled over and went back to sleep, and I have never had the fucking balls to do that again. You should have shot right in her face. How right perfect would that have been? You could have I mean, done it, a, timed it. I got a good girl right now, man, and I love watching her, uh, you know, diddle herself and stuff like that. I can't even bring myself to jerk off while she's doing that, like right in front of me. Like, I, Did you wow, still I traumatized? You should, you're still traumatized? Yeah, definitely. I wonder, if, I wonder if that would work on a rapist. <laughs> just comes at you. You know what? That's not even a track. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry. He just loses. It depends on how much resolve he has. Yeah. Yeah. Different guys. <laughs> different amounts of drive. We could kill and rape. All in this whole fucking show, man. <laughs> what are you Elf doing, Elf world? Elf. That knife makes you look fat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Nick in Jersey. What's up? Uh, what they used to do with their jizz. Nick. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Hey, Nick. You're on, man. You were just talking hey, about jizz. Did hey, I anyone, remember when I was 13. Here? I, uh... I told my girlfriend, you know, how to give a blowjob, and she didn't want to swallow it. So, uh, so we uh, we put it in T-shirts and we shove it underneath <laughs> the bed. And one day, her mom comes over, we're sitting on her bed, you know, watching TV, and she goes, "I found these when I was cleaning." And I was like, "It's orange juice." Orange so, juice. <laughs> she's like, "Orange juice. Orange juice doesn't stick." Oh, and uh, man. I was like, "Well." You know what it is, I know what it is, and that was it, and that was the end of that relationship. You but, said uh, that? You know what it is, and I, I know, know what it is. is. Yeah, let's, uh, let's just stop let's, this. Let's, yeah, let's just move <laughs> stop on. this charade here. Cut the shit, Mom. Yeah, time to cook dinner, please. <laughs> Tell your daughter to swallow and your laundry up. problems oh, no. won't be so bad. Hey, uh, Big A, what were you reading? We got a mic for him? <laughs> Can you come by next Friday, by the way? <laughs> That's a good one. The news was a hit. Um, uh, yeah, I can. <laughs> All right. um, actually, I was reading the Fast Smash Diet. Oh. I, I couldn't really hear the, the, the show out there. You should read the Head Smash Diet. <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> I thought maybe, you know. That just made me right. look at his head. Yeah. I don't think that Big A needs to be poked fun at. All right, Jimmy, yeah. you're right. Go ahead, nice Andrew. Guy. Finish up. Uh, thank you very much, Jim. And he fucking hits like an anvil. <laughs> you can take that. You really shouldn't take that. He's from exercising Bill Burr. his fingers, though. Oh. You can take that from Bill Burr. What did I say? <clears throat> he heard you. No reason to be abusive. My head's like an, an anvil. I heard you. Oh, I'm trying yeah, to pay yeah, attention. He's got great hearing. Got good ears. That's right. I'm trying to pay he attention does. to Big A, but that picture of Christina Aguilera's ass right next to him. <laughs> yeah, and that's something. How great is her fucking ass? This makes it very easy yep. not to look oh. at Big A. <laughs> oh, look at that. Joe's jerking off. I'm ready. <laughs> he just decided. If you guys can do all your eyes. For 30 seconds. That's all I need. That's all you need. Nobody Joe needs can do radio, know. cup his balls, and jerk. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Move the mic with his knee. Right. <laughs> uh, so, Big A, you want to lose some weight? Thinking about uh, it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I definitely have to lose uh, weight. Yeah. You should start lifting. You look like you could, get, you could fucking put on some brawn. That's probably a bad idea, though. Yeah, you don't need him any stronger. He, uh, he has a little confidence. We saw pictures get of him. His, S problem S from uh, problem. high school and stuff, and when he was a young man, he was quite strapping. Oh yeah, very athletic. You uh, played was what? that back when he was starring in Mel's Diner? <laughs> oh wow, Mel's no. Diner. What's Nothing. You? Well, who's in Mel's Diner? Mel's <laughs> <laughs> in the room. I don't get what? the car crash on that. There. Who was in it? Mel's Diner. Who was the guy who played Mel? Oh, you yeah, mean Alice. It was called Alice. Vic Tabak. Oh, yeah, there you, you go. got the Jesus show right. Christ. He does look like young Vic Tabak. I, I didn't, I thought yeah. it was a movie. Tabak, wow, you got to know the guy's name. Holy yeah, who doesn't? Shit, that's yeah. pretty good. That's Just, terrific. All right, well, good luck with the uh, the fat smash diet. You uh, do any of that uh, jacking? <laughs> yeah, a guy's got to do what a guy's got to do, right? What do, you, what do you look at when you jerk off? What do you think about or look at? And do you move your fingers like that? <laughs> 
What do you look at? Probably ogrish.com. Ogrish. <laughs> <laughs> Pops up the latest Al Zarqawi beheading and fucking <laughs> the star report. <laughs> what do you uh, What do you fantasize about? What's your What's your cup of tea when you're uh, jacking? Black chicks. <laughs> Yeah, what's your poison? Let's yeah. go. What is it? Come on. What's your Every, poison? Everyone's got theirs. What's the one site you go to? Come on. Mine's the kids. What's yours? <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's yours? Asians? Stop being so shy. Yeah. Let's go. Don't be shy. Blowjob pictures? What is it? Big A. Just tell them. <laughs> tell us. He what trusts me. I don't know. You know, I go to... Who's your favorite porn star? It's okay star to that say white. That doesn't you make a okay. favorite porn star jerk okay. off to. What is it? What do you jerk off to? What do you like? <laughs> Don't. Come on, man. There's a lot of pressure. No, it's not. What do you jerk off to? You jerk off, of course you do. He just talked well, about I'm jerking off delivering newspapers. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Deli well, I never jerked off delivering newspapers. I don't want to. But your fans. people out there that were I my customers. Yeah, really. Really. I feel real bad. Yeah. No. <laughs> never jerked off on your paper. Oh, great. The Boston Herald. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's easy. Just blurt it out. Come on. What do you jerk off well, to? Let's go. What's, what's your fantasy? Me, it's Asian girls giving head. I don't know why. Really? All right. Yeah, I don't know good. why. It's always been. It's good. Wow. It, like, like not not girl. like Japanese. I like Thai. I like dirty jungle girls. Girls that look like Vietnamese girls just came out of the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like. Is it like those, that or those chicks yeah. like on, uh, you ever see the movie Bounty? Where the HMS Bounty goes to like one of those Bounty, no. places Girls and all the, all the chicks are just topless walking around and all the sailors are banging them. I don't want natives. I want like native. Viet Cong. Like VC bitch. Yes, like yes. the sniper girl yeah. in a... Uh, like, like, like the girls who steal money, you know, they come up to me, come on, I suck your dick. Me so honey. Yeah, yeah. and then one. the guy comes up Too and grabs cool. your money and runs off. No, right. he, he, yeah. likes, he likes war-torn war -torn pussy. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Thai pussy. S suffering under an oppressed <laughs> government pussy. Khmer Rouge right. pussy. <laughs> Khmer Rouge pussy. All right, Big A's ready, I think. What do you jerk off to? What do you jerk off to? The killing field. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Big A, who's your favorite? Come on, Big A. Give us something. Puerto Rican? What do you jerk off Do you to? go old school? Do you go like Ginger Lynn? Do you yeah. go Tracy Lords? Do you go new let's school? Start, wait, well, let's start Hustler with Hustler Magazine race. classic porn yeah, with let's black and white. Race. Joe's yeah. admitted he gets off the Paul Potts biography. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Uh, actually, we yeah, like all females. All females? No, but there's, there's uh, a no. niche. Oh, there's no everyone's child. a cop out. Everyone's got a niche. Is it you big, don't jerk off to Oprah Winfrey, my right. friend. Right. Is See? it big boobies? No. Is it black girls? What is it? Uh, I guess the uh, uh, big breasts. Big, big breasts. breasts. Big breasts, okay. Yeah. Big breasted women? Yes. <clears throat> yeah? What are they? Are they chubby or thin? A little chubby. A little chubby. Okay. Now, do you like just the pictures of women, or do you like women sucking dick, taking it in the ass? Yeah, what do you like? Doing stuff. Yeah, I want me. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, Holy woman, shit. Woman. Um, uh, Big A, if the FBI. If the you like to give them yeah. jobs? Yeah. yeah. There you go. If the FBI got hold of your hard drive, <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many years would what, they what would they find? <laughs> right. How many years? <laughs> a lot of correspondence with Gary Glitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so a uh, little chubby, <laughs> blonde, brunettes, redheads, what? what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Could come on them all, right? Yeah. Of course. What's your recurring fantasy? I know you have one that when you have no porn... There's got to be one thing that you scrap to it more than once for a quick one, where you got you just you know this one works all the time. Your go-to. What's your go-to mental Rolodex jerk-off thing? Uh, I guess it has to be the time I saw Flower Tucci in here. Who? Flower Tucci. Tucci? Flower Tucci? Flower Tucci. She's a big ass girl. <clears throat> oh, I don't know her. Yeah. Wait, who's Flower Tucci? That wasn't Porn one star? of those sprayed Nice face. choice. Yeah. We had her on the show? In here? The girl yeah. sprayed in his face? Oh. Oh, the girl that sprayed in your face. She sprayed in your... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. She they painted yeah. a bullseye on his oh, face, and he was sitting there like the bulldog on a Mack truck. <laughs> just <laughs> standing there, and she let loose, and it what went all over his face. What is uh, that? Whatever it is, it's <laughs> delicious. I love <laughs> oh, squirt. No, really? More than I'm breathing, it. I love squirt. Wow. It's some kind of... 
female ejaculate, which right. probably consists of mucus. Whatever. No, no, it's clear. It's like water, dude. It's yeah. fucking. I, I have had girls dump. What does a, it taste like? It, it, yeah, really nothing. There's, occasionally you'll get like a little tinkle flavor mixed in, but it's not piss, believe tinkle me. Tinkle flavor. It's not piss. Oh. It's amazing. I love a mouthful. It's like squeezing a little lemon in your you water. You are so <laughs> fucking sick. No, dude, you've had it, right? It's fucking... It's, really what's good. better than that? I had it once. What's better than that? It's tremendous. It's tremendous. It's tremendous. Steak? There's a little... Uh, it's like a, a little salt of it first, and then you get... You know, oh, okay. It's warm. Yeah. It's fucking That's hot, Tate Fletcher man. from the Ultimate Fighter television <laughs> show, season three. <laughs> TateFletcher.com. Yep. Yeah, very good. Yeah, that's true. The Death Squad. Should get their plugs in today. Hell yeah! Mm -hmm. Twister TV. It's just a That's pleasure Eddie being Bravo. here, watching you guys work. The vomit. The <laughs> oh yeah, watching us the whole our deal. craft. Mm -hmm. Tate and honestly, up. that's that's the best reality show on uh, <clears throat> on TV. Tate was locked up yeah. in the house for six weeks. He just got out. Oh really? Yeah, he was fresh out. Come see me in Atlantic City. Yeah. Wait, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? He was on the Ultimate Fighter. He was on the show. Yep. But, uh, in the yeah. house. In yeah, you're oh, okay, sequestered okay. Yeah, for yeah. six weeks. Uh, you're not allowed to have cell phones, no newspapers, nothing. Kara in Philly, what's up? Hey, guys, I just have to say, I think it's the hottest thing ever when my husband jerks it. Really? Even to other girls? Um, well, yeah, that's pretty hot, too, but I like it I like it more when he jerks it for me. Do you, now, do you like that because you're a pervert or are you lazy? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a little of both. <laughs> you're lazy? A little bit. Does he ever ask you to blow him and you're like, oh, God, do I have to? No, actually, no. I'm no. usually You're usually ready? up for that. Good for you. Oh, wow, you're, you're, you're a good egg. That's the worst. You ever get one of those girls who are like, I just have to be like in the right yeah. mood. I yeah. Just... Oh, shut the fuck yeah. up. <laughs> well, then you must not be in the mood for a ride home either. Yeah, because <laughs> if, my, if my girlfriend ever says, will you, will you, will you lick my pussy? Yeah. I mean, there's never, there's never like a time where you don't want to eat your girlfriend's pussy. Fucking dude, I'll eat it with a log yeah. coming out of the other end. Who cares? Uh, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't mind. Period. Either. I don't give a fuck. I don't like no, that. No, my period. Who gives a fuck? Just so it tastes like there. copper. Who gives a shit? Dude, it's periods just, are gross. It's just blood. It's just no difference between blood and and pussy juice. It's all the same. It's just just as the guy from Fear Factor, so it's, though. Yeah. So it's red. Yeah. We should expect this. Dude, you can bang a chick on a period? Fuck yeah. Well, well, I eat a, see, I'll eat a chick's pussy when she's on her period. Oh, uh, cares, right? I don't give a fuck. You, Big Jimmy, what, is, if, I, if I got a hard on, dude, I don't give a fuck. Jimmy's I'll twisted. lick her ass right when she gets out of the gym. Oh, <laughs> oh that I like. It. Sweaty and dirty ass. Oh, see, see, but, but for some right reason, the, the uh, yeah, blood thing freaks you out. I, can't, I like I, got, I like raw armpit. I'll, but be, <laughs> I like raw armpit. I do. As opposed to cooked, like I enjoyed last night. Feet, all that shit is fine with me. Ass smell. What's wrong? Eddie Bravo has the best like it. stinky pussy feet story ever. Are you here? Dude, yes. tell the stinky pussy feet story. Please. Tell the it's the greatest story of all time. Um well, <laughs> Tell the whole strip club DJ thing. Yeah, we have time. I give a background. All right, I, I DJed at a strip club for 10 years and um there was this one chick who I was making moves on for a while, but she had a boyfriend. She finally moved out of her boyfriend's house and moved into her best friend's house, which was like her best friend still lived with her mother. So she was living with her fr best friend's family. And um, she needed a ride home after work. And this is like 2.30 in the morning. She's been stripping for six hours, oh, 27 lap dances. You know, but this chick was super hot. Her nickname was Hot X. I mean, she was super, super hot. So, um... I, uh, I, I drove her home the, the first night, and I couldn't go inside. She couldn't have me come inside. She's staying at a friend's parents' house. But she was loked, and we just parked in the driveway, and, you know, she just... At first, she would just suck my dick. She wanted she didn't want to fuck, so she sucked my dick the first couple times I, I drove her home. And it was cool, and I was like, eventually, I'm going to get this fucking pussy, right? <laughs> and I, and I kind of noticed that her feet were kind of stinking. Oh, no. <laughs> I kind of noticed that, but... You know, they're in like them tall last pumps, like yeah, those for glass. six hours, yeah. grinding cock, the glass you know, working, sweating, sweating. You know, that's not easy <sighs> shit. I, you know, they got, they all got nice developed quads and shit from pushing. Well, anyways, she finally decided to give up the pussy. We're in my truck, and we're in the driveway, like right in the driveway. There's a light, but I, I had the windows tinted, so I'm like, let's do this shit. <laughs> I throw her in the back seat. I start fucking her, and her pussy was so fucking rank. It was, it was disgusting. But it, I've dealt with stinky pussy before. I've dealt with that, and I and I, you know you you know you kind of like hit them dog style, like turn away, you know a little bit. But this bitch's feet, the feet and the pussy, 
<laughs> it was like I call it a swirl of death. Like you smell it, you smell the, the feet, you storm. smell the bad pussy, but you can't like distinguish. It's like a combination. Holy of shit. It was so bad. I was fucking, I opened the goddamn window. I'm like, it's getting foggy in here. You know, like it mattered. You know, we were driving. And I'm, and the crazy thing about it is that she didn't, she had a big smile. She's getting fucked. She oh didn't my smile anything. God. And it's, it, I don't know, just the, the combination of the feet. And I had to sit her down. She was so hot. I had to sit her down. I brought out her nutrition book. I was like, wow. You know, it was like under, under vaginosis or vaginitis, it said, you know, uh, uh, a possible cause for this is uh, a lack of or defi deficiency of the B vitamins. So I'm like, listen, there's nothing wrong with you. Holy shit. You just shit. need to get some more vitamins. And I told her and I explained it because she was so hot. How did she and react she, to that? She was so cool. She, you know, w we started going out. We went out for like six months. She would, she was a vitamin Good Lord, how She would hot show up to my house. She, she must have been yeah, she was so hot. Show the position hot. with the feet up in the air like where the swirl. Oh, when she was like this, man, when she was like this in the back seat. She had like her feet right here, <laughs> and like the pussy was right there. And I mean, I had a there was some decisions going on. <laughs> it wasn't an easy decision. Like, should I wow. stay? Should I just keep fucking, or should I stop? Dude, what if she went? What, what if she went? Oh, lick my pussy. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, did it was, the vitamins it was, help? It was dude? death. Dude, did the vitamins help at all? You know what? I don't know if it was the vitamins or the fact that she just cleaned her pussy up with like douche it or something. But it never stunk after that. And you know. It, Maybe she had a yeast like infection. Months. Did you have milky white stuff on your hog? Because sometimes if you pull it out and it looks like you have like a little Elmer's on it, that's fucking like a yeast infection. <laughs> Elmer's. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, nice. TV well, you know what? I don't know. Eight though. hours. It was just death. I'll tell you Dead one thing. Pussy odor, you know, it's, it's, it's <laughs> funny. You say that uh, after that. It didn't stink. She left a lasting impression, though, that first yeah, time. Yeah, you know what? She, you know, she, that shit doesn't just go away no, out she of your mind. Something. Well, she showed up to my house. She's a vitamin freak. She would show up to my house to hang out. You know, she spent the night, like, quite often with a duffel bag with big fucking vitamins. You know, the big <laughs> bottles of vitamins. Yeah. She was taking all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. Yeah, That's a good story. Yeah, right on. No bad. girl likes a stinky pussy. That's a very yeah. good story. What's worth it? A guy with a little dick or a girl with a stinky pussy? Stinky pussy is not as bad because you can't fix a dick. Pussy. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> have, you ever done a, have you ever had a lap dance with a girl that had a stink, stinky pussy? That uh, happened to me, too. I've had lap dances from strippers that just stink. Like, strippers <laughs> fucking, they stink. No, but a lot, a, lot of them, a lot of them do that shit on purpose because it's a way to keep guys from, like, really, like, groping. Not all guys. What? They stink. Yeah, they'll, yeah. they'll come in. Yeah, they won't shower or something like that. Oh, yeah. really? Or it's like they're playing in the NFL. The whole night. Yeah, the they're line. like B.O., yeah. All like night, the they're dancing. Right, There's yeah. nothing they could do about it. And they put on that perfume, but it cuts oh. right through it. Yeah. You're like, oh, stop yeah. already. All right. We should take a break. We'll do one more break and get out of here for the week. Uh, Joe Rogan. Hey. Borgata. 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 City tonight. Tonight in Atlantic City, if you're in the area, his comedy is unbelievable. Joe, man. At the Borgata.com. I don't have a number. You should right. have a number, Joe. All right. Uh, and we'll, I don't have a number. And we'll get everyone else's plugs in a minute here. Let's take a break. We'll uh, check in with Twitchles before we get out of here as well. Stay there. All right, let's oh, get right to the definitely. phones here. Let's say hi to Shwiggy. Shwiggy, what's going on today, man? Hey, guys, what's going on? Hey. Here's a, a jerk story to probably top some off. Get right uh -huh. back into it. This is back in college, back in the mid-'80s, before VCRs really took off. By the way, can you tell we're making up for the fact that we have to be radio-friendly in the morning? <laughs> this has been the filthiest show we've ever done. Good. Yes, continue, Shwiggy. Sorry. So anyway, I'm in one of the porno booths in up at, upstate at school. And I remember explicitly, it was a Ginger Lynn and Tracy Lord scene. Mm. So I finish up and I open the door. And who's just standing in the lobby? Rich Boss. Five guys from my floor that I live on. Oh. So, very, very rough. So they know you beat off. off. Very, very rough. Ah, it's a little bit different <clears throat> when you're 18, though. That's, yeah, not, that's not bad. That's, that's, like, not that's bad. like hearing a pst in a buddy booth and you look over and it's your dad. That's a great story. <laughs> <laughs> let's know. All right, let's say how to no filter buddy Paul. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the window goes up. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> I just wanted to uh, call Big A out. He's such a total liar about who he jerks off to. Oh, all he shit. does is hit on my wife all the time. You know, oh, I forgot I about let's that. Get a, let's get a mic on. Yeah, forgot about that. Mm. Uh, Big A is infatuated with No Filter Paul's wife. Yep, oh. all the time. Every time he's around... Wait, hold on, Paul. Paul, 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 hold on. He can't hear you. Sorry. Okay, now he's got his headphones, his earphones on. All yeah. right, yeah, he's, he's always uh, trying to hold a hand every time he crosses the street. He's, oh, let me help you across the street. Is that true? You guys really need to find a girl. <laughs> now you're on CBS. You should be able to find a girl. You call her a lot? You call yeah. doesn't... Yeah, he's, he's gotten a bit better. 
but you, you really need to find him a girl. Um, why do you a ask girl? Him? A girl. Well, okay, like Davy Jones. Yeah. Yeah, what are you? Why, ask him why he's drunk. One of the Beatles. Look and what you've, you've done, done to me. me. <laughs> ask him what? Ask him why he drove to Florida to try and get a girl from Pal Talk. Why? What? what, 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 what <laughs> oh, did you drive to Florida? Oh. You drove to Florida for a girl from Pal Talk? Ask Andrew. Ask Andrew. Hold on, Paul. Hold on. Hold on. We, there's a story here. Go ahead, Big A. Don't be shy. What was that? Um, actually, I had nothing you know, to say about that. Oh, oh. nothing to say about that nothing means it happened. If you ask me, did I drive down to Florida to fuck a girl from Palatine? Are Talk? you pleading the I'll fifth? say no. Anthony? He is, uh, he's not fessing up, but I think the Dade There's County Sheriff's it, Department man. probably wants to hear something. <laughs> right. There's nothing wrong with a man trying to get laid. No Absolutely. Big deal. So you spent a that day driving down to Florida. You found a girl on Pal Talk. Was she surprised when she found out that you weren't also eight? <laughs> <laughs> you found a girl on Pal Talk. What happened? No, you did. Paul, you saw her, did you see her picture? She was camming up. Was she cammed up? Paul, did she give you an address, or did you just go? I'm gonna just start at the top of Florida, work my way down. <laughs> <laughs> Tallahassee. Uh, hello. Oh. Just, just Wait, back you on? I'm looking uh, for. Daisy. He scanned Florida. <laughs> Paul, Paul, welcome Paul. to the Keys. <laughs> this is my last enough? hope. <laughs> well, Paul? Tell you nothing? No, tell us, Paul. What do you, uh, maybe you're not, maybe, maybe, you're, not, maybe, maybe uh, you're not telling the truth. Maybe that's why Big no, A is right, going to talk. You know, I'm going to tear the third wall down here now. Okay. Um, the third wall. The third wall. Whose, whose name is not going to get mentioned unless you guys figure it out. <laughs> Paid him to go get this girl because they both thought they had a shot. Someone paid Andrew to drive down and pick a girl up. So it's a kidnapping is what you're talking about. You're describing a kidnapping. Someone paid. No, he flew, he flew to Florida. Yeah. And he got in a car with someone who he drove back up to to uh, New York to go to some patch with. Uh-huh. And then right after, he drove all the way back down to Florida again. To drop, back. to drop her off. Yeah. Did you get anything from her? Back. I, not as far as I know. No, I'm asking Andrew, but she steps on CDs. Wait, he's, he's, he's writing. writing. I already know who he means. Imagine if we turned around and all it said was. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when Andrew showed back up in New York, did he have muddy shoes with leaves in them? <laughs> what does the little sign say? No. She was only twelve. Let me see the name. Let me see the name. Turn it around. Let's see. Why, Big A? Don't be so shy. Wow. You didn't do anything wrong. I, are you still having relations with this girl? So you want to protect her identity? No, he doesn't decapitate and tell. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pet her hair in a barn because her husband Curly was giving you flack? <laughs> Oops. Wow. They're so delicate. <laughs> Nothing, Big A? Nothing. Nothing. Now, tell no. us a little. We, we confess everything. I confess to having... Uh, my grandmother find my loads all over. I've confessed to having trannies blow me, or a tranny. <laughs> that wasn't a Freudian slip. <laughs> 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 yeah. Fucking Twitchell's ate and threw up. I mean, we've all contributed a lot here. Yeah, that's to a capital murder what charge. Happened, man? You don't have to tell the girl's name for privacy reasons. And I mean, it's, uh, I'm just a, a friend of mine. Yeah, okay. so but did you all? did you bring her up because somebody else wanted? to, like, meet her or hook up or something, so you were just, like, a limo driver here? Were you just, like, a cab driver? Or did you think that you maybe had a shot? Um, not at all. Uh, 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 she didn't want to drive up alone. And, and I was just a body... A body. Yeah, and now car. so is she. <laughs> Without a head. <laughs> well, he's crossing state lines here, so it's already a felony. Right. Whatever he did. So wait a minute. You went, you flew down. Um, yes. Whose car? Her car? Yes. Okay, because she didn't want to come alone. Right. So you flew down. You yes. drove up with her. Yes. She hung out in New York, and yes. then she drove you back down because she didn't want to be alone. And right. then you flew back from Florida? That's correct. Okay, so you spent a lot of time in the car with her. Yeah. Um, you, yes. You Were you nervous? Were you stroking her thigh? Uh, not at all. Did you no. sleep on the way up? Did you try anything? Did you try any moves? No, I didn't try anything. No? How, how did you continue the drive straight through? Or did you stop at a hotel? Um, uh, 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 yeah. Uh, um, no hotel. It was... Uh, straight. Who bought your plane straight ticket? Through. Yeah, who paid? Neil. 
Oh. Neo, Neo. bought your plane ticket? Neo's oh, involved. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, I've heard almost boy. Every, I've heard almost everybody else knows about this. You know, well, it was harmless. You flew to Florida. You didn't do anything wrong. Care. It's not a big secret. You flew to Florida. Why would he buy your ticket, though? Yeah, why would he in Arizona? Jesus Christ, everyone know. on Pal Talk knows, by the way. I mean, it's all over the whole thing. There's a lot of questions coming in. <laughs> Nick, Nick in Chicago. <laughs> Nick in Chicago. Big A, where's Natalie Holloway? <laughs> I flew to Aruba. She didn't want to go to Carlos and Charlie's alone. She so said she could swim. <laughs> we went to the lighthouse. <laughs> so he flew you down to basically just be a friendly escort so she wouldn't have to drive alone oh, because he might have had a thing for her. Fun of me. Wow. You think Neo was no, hoping about that? One extreme to the you other. You pull your cock out in the car and say something like "suck or die." <laughs> absolutely, absolutely not. No. Oh, absolutely. I thought he said. Right. Hey, uh, Dave in Tennessee has a question for Big A. Dave. Hey, uh, rather than waiting for him to stumble through this, we can catch this all on Dateline next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Set your tebos now. <laughs> you went to see her, and a reporter came out. <laughs> Why did you I just steal this joke and reword it? To pick some bloody line. up. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll just do it. <laughs> Those like, losers. The guy had a good line, and I figured I'd reword it, and you do the impression, and we and both... I'd jump on your coattails. As I was dying, you figured you'd go down with the ship. <laughs> and one more for you, please. I that fucking pal talk is its own little environment. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a, its own little civilization. There. Yep. There's uh, cliques. There's, like, gangs. It's, uh... People that know stuff, people that they don't want to know stuff. There's people with uh, feet in their asses. <laughs> it's a so a lot of dudes like beating off, too. Yeah. <laughs> Just a lot the of Arab guys. Right yeah, that, 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 yeah. Get one of those camps seem like a good idea until they actually, they just... Literally within two seconds of just going around there, we literally going, was that, is that an arm? Yeah. No, it's a leg. Here it is. Look, you go adult. Please don't. Uh, I don't want to see that again. Playground. Don't be shy. And then just go... Ladies making men hard, Ooh. pop up a couple of cameras, <laughs> and before you know it, bang. Look at Eddie Bravo. Where are the... Oh, Bill, oh. look. A lot of, lot of guys. Not Bill much jacking. Ah, there you it go, took Bill. one, two, three, four, eh, five, no six deal. I've clicks. Seen porns. I'm just talking about that. that Open thing. the guy with the cowboy hat. He's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> six clicks before magic guy one is just jacking away. It's, it's disturbing when they're jacking off with a, a semi. Look at it's that like, guy. Look at the guy really with a horny. <laughs> Ew. What a weird hat. technique. What an awful technique. He's just like massaging a jet. Like he goes all the way down the balls and opens the hand. Yeah, he's opens using the a very uh, unique technique. <laughs> it's almost like he looks like like his hands are moving like Bell Lugosi. Oh, it's like he's yeah. playing a guitar. Paul, anything else before we let you go? Um, no, not really. I just wanted to say, you know, I, I like Big A. He's a, he's a good guy in person, and a lot of these fucking bimbos on Power Talk, they just use him. Oh, no. And, and it, it just sucks for the guy, because you know what? Oh. I, I don't know if he just didn't have much attention earlier. But what do you mean they use him, Paul? Because of the show, you know? They use him for a ride up and back to Florida? Yeah. What else? Who else? What a VIP pass to the Pats fan. How else do they use him? I mean, because you'd hate to think of somebody making a fool out of, of somebody, especially after their stomach got stapled for a radio show. <laughs> Okay, good point. Good point. All right, so what, 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 what else do they use Big A? He's our friend. No, they, they, just, they just use him. They, they, just, they just hang around him because he's on the show. So what's wrong with that? It's Big A's hanging out with some chicks. Good for him. Yeah, but you know what? They, they, he doesn't get anything. He, he, you know, he, we need to find him a nice girl. He's, he's a nice guy. I like him. I really do. You know? up. And, and I know him off the show. And, that, you know, and he's, a, he's a different guy off of the show. We understand. He's a saint. So how yeah. are they using him? They just... Everything, everything a girl normally wants... But then doesn't give anything back. I don't know. Ask Big A for example. I don't know. Big A give examples. Give personal life out. Do you realize why are you that standing far away, Eric? Big A and Neo make Master Blaster from Thunderdome. <laughs> 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 Neo could just <laughs> sit on your shoulders and you could rule. <laughs> All right, no filter. The brain and the brawn. Thank you. All right, guys, do something for him. Have a good day. Right. That wasn't a, an expose. That was nothing. It was stupid. I now, Victoria Ricano is here on Stage 27 with a story every woman should see, right, Vic? That's right, Pat. Star Jones Reynolds made headlines when she admitted to a breast lift. Now a housewife is in desperate need of a breast reduction. I'm taking you inside the OR as the insider goes in-depth.
I'm so uncomfortable in everything I wear. I end up wearing shirts that are like tense. I'm totally uncomfortable. 37-year-old Carrie is a victim of her enormous breasts. I'm not comfortable with the way I look. I'm not comfortable with the way I feel. She hates her appearance, lives with excruciating pain, and is desperate for change. Actually, I have thought about suicide and I had an accidental, it really was accidental overdose. She thought about suicide because her tits are too big? Uh, <laughs> Somebody just... slap that bitch in the mouth and take her to Ethiopia. Yeah, get a little fucking breast reduction. Look at all the other people with real problems, you dumb cunt. <laughs> big A is oh, staring at me. Your tits are too big? Are you oh. mad at me, Big A? I don't want to oh, comment oh, on that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, of course not, Jim. Why would I ever be mad at you? I don't know, are you? No, of course not. No. You can tell me. No, no I'm not. <laughs> He's not. Why are you mad at me? <laughs> Tim, I'm not mad at you. Big A, what happens when you get really mad? Yeah, we don't want to know. We think it's. I don't, think, I don't think you ever want to know that. What's the worst oh, thing you ever did? Oh shit! Yeah, what is the worst thing you've ever done to another human being? I pet the rabbit. Yeah, you got some uh, UFC guys in here. Pretty rabbit. They would like to hear this. I've What's seen the... it, man. I've seen it. You get it in your forehead and your eyebrow when people start talking about you. Uh, they brought you real close to snapping before. Is there somebody walking around or maybe limping around, hobbling or something that just always remembers you every day of their life? Does the neighbor's no, dog talk all. to you? No. no. What's well, the worst thing you ever did to somebody? Fight? Nothing really. Uh, Yet? That you're scared to talk about. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not a fighter, so, you know. I mean, I'm just you know, big and tall, but I'm not a fighter. So. But in your younger days, eh, you looked like uh, you could be a little bit of a bruiser. Uh, not really. No. All right, what well, maybe a, a violent fantasy. You've been picked on enough to have anger, and you just one dude who just wouldn't leave you alone. You're like, someday i just love to fucking... To, to twist his head off. <laughs> <laughs> Show his nipples. He was much happy with the breast conversation. All right, back yes. to you. A startling size 42 double D, coping That's with crippling back about. pain from her 20 pound breast, forced her to take heavy medication, which prevents her from working. I cannot teach if I'm on any narcotics for liability reasons, so I have not been able to work. This increase in your breast size has actually stopped you from moving forward with your life. Yeah. They go right past the scrub sink right here. So can Carrie find relief? How are you feeling? A little nervous. We're inside the OR as she undergoes a revolutionary breast reduction procedure. And you fellas have safety glasses on. How about you, John? Yes. <laughs> safety goggles. Here's I'm fucking creating the laser book. draw right now with the carbon dioxide laser. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jimmy, I had an ex-girlfriend of mine who had a tit reduction. Yeah, it's a reduction, yeah. yeah. Yeah, before I met her, she she had a she had huge tits and she had them. It was real weird because they cut the nipple off. They Whoa. cut the nipple yeah, off they and they make a scar that goes straight down to the chest from the nipple, like a, a straight line down, and then below it. So it's like wow, like they fillet you. It's a lot of meat. They scoop out the meat and then they tie it all back up together. Doesn't she lose all nerve feeling in her nipples? One. She had one nipple that was very wow. sensitive. was normal. And the other one was just useless. It was gone. <laughs> useless nipple. The other one was like an elbow. <laughs> <laughs> First, Dr. Grant Stevens, who invented the laser bra technique, draws on Carrie's body to outline how the surgery will proceed. Then, Carrie's put under anesthesia. Okay, we're marking these nipples at 42 millimeters. I was right there for the dramatic procedure. Ah. What we're doing now is creating the laser bra. The laser is taking the outer skin or epidermis away and leaving the dermis. Here's your insider info on the cutting edge surgery. It takes only two hours, can be done as an outpatient procedure, cost between five and fifteen thousand dollars, and Beat actually it. preserves the nipple. We laser around the nipple, we keep the blood supply to the nipple intact, and we move the nipple up, attached to the breast at all times. Oh, the rest of the breast tissue comes God. around and lifts the nipple from underneath. So if you want to breastfeed after a breast reduction, you could. Oh. Oh. It's weird to look at. It's Franken titties. <laughs> the circle, the line. So she had this. She had this line down here all the way from chest to chest, or from tit to tit, and then two lines down, and then big scars around the nipples. So very strange. Wow, why? How, and she how had long? Back pains. She uh, she had huge tits oh, really? at one point in time. Yeah, you know, like Fs. You know. So how long after she had it done did you see them? 
two years. Two years, and they were still yeah. like prominent scars, scars on like, scars. You know, they were bumpy. You know? wow. and they were Weird. just titties that just completely didn't fit her body when they were like F. Yeah, they were just enormous. Can they you imagine ridiculous. that? The girl just like, as she's going through puberty, yeah. like, okay, enough I'm already. Not, yeah. Stop. <laughs> they just keep... Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was bad. And after you get the breast reduction, you can breastfeed. That's great for a husband. Your wife has big tits, then she gets them shrunk and has a kid stuck on them. Why don't you just fucking push her under a lawnmower? <laughs> she now has a C cup, and we've reduced about uh, 10 pounds of breast tissue. So how does Carrie feel today? I'm thrilled with the outcome. The pain is com almost completely gone. Now there are other stars who've admitted to a breast reduction, including Queen Latifah and Punky Brewster Soleil Moon Fry. Yes, Punky Brewster got her uh, titties. Uh, yeah, he got a little too big for her. Uh, Billy, you wanted to tell a story after the break. I forgot to. Oh, we, oh. Were, on this, we were on the stinky pussy uh, subject. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been unbelievably lucky. I've only had one really bad one. I was in a movie theater. I was watching some movie, and I started fingering this girl <laughs> that I was with. There was literally people in my row. old were you? There was people, people in, in my row. Moment? That's like how fucking <laughs> nasty this girl was. So I should have known. I was, how uh, old were you? This I don't know. You're doing your 29. Yeah, you know, 18, <laughs> yeah. 19. Last week. 18, yeah. 19. Oh, I'd still do it today. If I could just do it, take your dick out, why not? You were babysitting. It was Finding Nemo. Look, I, I wasn't into the movie. It wasn't you know, I wasn't feeling the plot. So I literally I fingered the girl, and I did what you always do. Then you got to kind of bring it up and smell. And the funny thing was it was right at the pivotal moment where you're going to figure out, like, who the murderer was. What was the movie? Do you know? Uh, you're going a long way back. I can't remember. Selling. Anyways, the bottom line Passion is, is I fucking bring it up. <laughs> I bring it up. And it was, I got it, I think, about to about a foot from my face. And I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just got. I just said I have to go to the bathroom, and I literally got up and I just fucking with that awful movie soap. I was gone for like ten minutes. I think I came back. The fucking credits were rolling, and I just made up an excuse. I mean, you figure if you're fingering the girl in the movie theater, there's no way you're not fucking. You know what I mean? Right. And I was just. I just you bailed. Just forget it. I just bailed. One of my first girlfriends from wow. high school always had a stinky pussy. She just always had a stinky pussy, and every time we would fuck, right afterwards, like the morning, I would go to take a leak. And the smell would just oh, rise Jesus up and Christ. waft. Like I'd be peeing, just going, "What the fuck is wrong with me?" It's hard to wash that shit off. Yeah, it's hard to wash. Oh, wow. That off. Oh yeah, I, I couldn't eat with this hand for like like a day or so. <laughs> I, just, I just couldn't even bring it up. There's just, certain smells that can just go away when you wash your hands once. That's not one of barely. them. Barely. One of them, yeah, is that. The other one is if, God forbid, you don't have enough toilet paper, or a little it slips to the uh. side for a minute. And you hit, you know, ground zero. You got to go bleach at that point. It, 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 does, it doesn't matter how much. You can scrub. It's gone. <laughs> and then, like, five minutes later, you give another. It, it's back. <laughs> it just attaches itself. It's got grappling it hooks in your, in your. Yeah. yeah. It grows. Uh, Spores. It is, stinky pussy has got to be one of the worst. Sm Nature set it up <laughs> to let you know that you definitely shouldn't be doing anything with it's that. It's not breathing it's just stock. A giant it's not morning good red flag. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what uh, I mean, you can still get a girl pregnant while that. Why would why would it smell so bad? What is that? It's nature trying to protect. Yeah. You. Let's uh, see how Twitchells is doing so we can get out of here. Oh wait, we got the. Uh, I didn't know this. Got the girl that uh, Bill was at the movies with. Yeah. He said, "I can smell your cunt." Oh, <laughs> Bill, that was rude. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Twitchells. Yeah. Hi. Hey, Twitchells. He's back. He's probably crashing from. Uh, the sugar rush. 5,000 calories of sugar. Dude, he looks so normal. He doesn't even look yeah. like he's got Tourette's anymore. There's so many more almond joys to be eaten, too. I know. He's got a Brad Pitt uh, haircut. Did you hear what he said? Joe goes, uh, it doesn't even look like he has Tourette's anymore. And he goes, I wish. Wishes don't come true. Yeah. You had a hell of a day, Twitchell. Jump? Yeah. I just, oh, God. Oh, he is so, this guy is so tired, man. We, you know what? Uh, I I get a lot of emails. Say, why do they torture? You? And it's not torture. I have so much fun. I just I don't know why I do it, but uh, I feel good. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> you went through the gauntlet today. Today, whatever. Mounds don't. Don't just stare at it. Eat it. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Mm. Oh, 
motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Sizemore. Oh, I've heard about yeah. that tape. That's Tom Sizemore. That's great. Coming. So, all right, Twitchell. So what do you got? Anything? You all right? What, what do you mean? Well, we I, know how you... I, I, I puked a lot of it up. I, I shat, shat a lot of it. Shot. Uh, shot. Shot. You shot. feel queasy shot. still? A little bit. They, they uh, got, uh, ran and got me. They, one of the guys ran and got me some Pepto. Dwayne, Dwayne Reed and I coded it a little bit. There you go. All right. Yeah, I feel Dwayne a lot Reed. calm. I feel a lot calmer. So uh, it's really cured the tur- Tourette's, though it seems. <laughs> well, like uh, I said, I mean the Tourette's yeah, come and go. They act up sometimes and then they go away. We did help it along with the four or, or, or sure. five Red Bulls. Yeah. Oh uh, no, it was just four. I just had four. Oh, okay. Just four. Just four. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, yeah, no. Forty. Don't jump it up bars. to a higher uh, level. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We're tired. Big game. Yep. Oh, so. there's a guy on there that ha- knows how to get rid of pussy smell. Wow. Oh, oh. Yeah. Talk to him. It's, it's, it's called a him. fucking a cinder block and a lake. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dave in Jersey. Dave. Hello, guys. What's going on? Hey, what's up, Dave? Yeah, I just got a tip for all the men out there. If you get the stink finger or the stink dick, what you want to do is take your finger, soak it in acetone or nail polish remover. It gets rid of the stink right away. Soak your dick in that stuff? You're not oh, going to yeah, do it. No, right not nail polish. Just, you, just, just shove your dick in nail polish Just remover? fucking clean it off and get on with your day. It's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happened God, if you got acetone waste. down the tip? Yeah, what the fuck? Are you crazy? You thought that <laughs> aftershave on your balls hurt. Oh. All right, Dave. All right, guys. That's how we end today. Well, you know how you fucking get the stink off your dick? And the next morning, you find another girl to suck it. <laughs> gangsta fag. We should play some gangsta fag before we get out of here. Yeah. All right, Bill Burr first. May 19th, Electric Factory in yeah, Philly. Philadelphia. Thanks for stopping by today, Billy. Thank you. Absolutely. We're very tired. We did about five and a half today. I have a plug. Yes, Jimmy. May 12th with uh, David Tell, the Orpheum in Boston. Okay. Ticketmaster. Mm-hmm. And I think Rogan's show tonight is sold out. Seriously? Ooh. The Borgata.com. Try it for Joe at the Music Box. Certain tickets were not available, so try it and see if you can get tickets to see him tonight. All right. Bravo. Joe, thanks for coming by. Thanks for having me. This yeah, was a great, great time. Always a pleasure. Always a great man. time. The I, was, I wish I lived in New York. I know. I really did. But uh, all the time, man. We'll start calling the show more. Okay. I got to get up. We love yeah, when you call the show. Get up at like four in the morning. Yeah. I usually, I, I usually do it when I stay up. Like the other day uh, when I called in, I was just playing video games all night. All nighter. Well, yeah. now we start at like three. What are you times? What are you playing these days? Uh, Quake 4 yeah. and uh, Doom. Doom. Doom 3. I just got a new Alienware setup. Just been playing. <sighs> Play Counter Strike at all? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty cool. Bunch of I used little to be a, fuckers just nailing your ass. Yeah, I used to be a Quake Three junkie. I used to have a real problem. Yeah, I'm on like eight hours a night. I was Half Life all the time. Yeah, playing that <laughs> it's so addictive, man. It's so fun. I know, all night long. All right, let's get out of here. I mean, we got some gangster fag. You want to set this up, Joe? You you turn us on. <laughs> all right, this fag. is uh, this is the story with gangster fag. A buddy of mine was selling T-shirts, and this guy hit on him, and uh, he gave him this CD. He said, yeah, I'm a rapper, and uh, he gave him the CD. <laughs> and the CD was uh, you know, this uh, shirtless, muscular guy, and it said gangster fag. And he's like, what the fuck is this? And this thing, this CD sat in my house for like two years before I ever listened to it. And I listened to it when we were over my house, and we were uh, making doing photographs for Eddie's jujitsu book mm-hmm. so the first time we ever listened to this we're uh half naked you know with like fucking shorts on in my garage and uh you know the garage doors are open and this guy's taking pictures and we're going through wrestling positions <laughs> and my fucking pool guy shows Holy up gay. my pool guy shows up and he's walking through my driveway looking in the garage <laughs> listening to gangsta fag rapping while guys are wrestling in their underwear he wants it. it was one of the gayest things ever <laughs> run for the faggot, run from the faggot. <laughs> Guess you picked the wrong motherfucking fag to fuck with. Sounds like you've listened to him more than once, dude. It's hilarious. Oh, yeah, the, it's he's funny. good. That's the crazy thing about it. He's actually a good rapper. Yeah. You know, the music is yeah. pretty good. It actually sounds pretty good. God damn, he's scary as hell. Yeah, yeah. he's huge. I'm and he really is that guy, right? Your friend supposedly. Met him? Supposedly, no, I'm supposed to meet him, but he's not avoiding me at all. He's like, yeah, when you want to set it up, and so I'm supposed to, get, you know. Supposed to meet this guy. Show up in the spandex. I want to. We're gonna videotape uh, me and him having ice cream together. Uh, that'll be ask cute. Him, ask him about prison rape and shit like that. Oh, shit. <laughs> we had him on once. He was pretty interesting. Some asshole that w- was under my fake name. They they made a MySpace <laughs> account with my name, and it's a fake one because I have mine. But there's, you know, if you're anybody, people yeah. make fake ones. I uh, went to his and sent him a message. That I was Anthony from the Opie and Anthony show. I listened to the music and I really like, you know, if you could rape me. 
If like out of nowhere, just you know, I, I've always had this fantasy. So let me, you know, and he wrote back saying, you know, no, I don't do that. You know, I'm glad that you're into me and all, but I and I wrote him back like you fucking. Fag nigger. I don't want to. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, I had to be blunt. Oh. Jesus Christ. I had to let him know Whoa. I didn't want any part of him. Jesus. That man. is the way to do it. Wow, Anthony, who said that? Why not just thanks, but no thanks? See, <laughs> the whole Anthony's part of tired. adding that in is the fact that See, I his guards really, down now that he's tired. Really had to be offensive to let him know I didn't want that, and I wasn't oh, just calling. I, I think you were actually sick. kind of making him want to do it. I to think you. Yeah, good now point, he's gonna. Bill, yeah. Good point. You were yeah. taunting him. Because I know yeah. if I was a gay black. Man. You were saying, take yeah, the know. white ass, I double dare you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's basically what you said. <laughs> See, the more offensive it is, the more he knows, don't touch. So, I got things to back it up. Rogan, his friends, please. <laughs> Help me. They'd hold you down just for the story. <laughs> <laughs> so he's That's banging exactly. him. Rogan give you one of the pot lollipops. Yeah, suck on this. Be yeah, like, kill the pain. Yeah, oh, right. I thought, you know, and Joe's just laughing at me. You'd be like Twitchell's gagging when we got black cock instead of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the video and pictures of that are online. Let's get out of here. It's Come on, man. He yeah, wants it. Fucking... He wants it. He's still... I, that's no, another reason we got to get out of here. He's scared. Yeah. He's, he's farting like crazy. It still smells oh, like puke in here. like rotten eggs. Joe Rogan, until next time, thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's Gangsta Fag. We're out.